his own fellow. Don't rush into it. You will soon find that you have no idea what to ask. It isn't a question that I'm wondering about, it's a feeling that I have. Imagine, uh, if you had a, an interview with God, everybody was going to have an interview with God, and you were allowed to ask one question, what would you ask? Don't rush into it. You will soon find that you have no idea what to ask. It isn't a question that I'm wondering about, it's a feeling that I have. Imagine, uh, if you had a, an interview with God, everybody was going to have an interview with God, and you were allowed to ask one question, what would you ask? Don't rush into it. You will soon find that you have no idea what to ask. It isn't a question that I'm wondering about, it's a feeling that I have. Imagine, uh, if you had a, an interview with God, everybody was going to have an interview with God, and you were allowed to ask one question, what would you ask?
don't rush into it. You will soon find that you have no idea what to ask. It isn't a question that I'm wondering about, it's a feeling that I have. Imagine, uh, if you had a, an interview with God, everybody was going to have an interview with God, and you were allowed to ask one question. What would you ask? It isn't a question that I'm wondering about, it's a feeling that I have. Imagine, uh, if you had a, an interview with God, everybody was going to have an interview with God, and you were allowed to ask one question, what would you ask? It isn't a question that I'm wondering about, it's a feeling that I have. Imagine, uh, if you had a, an interview with God, everybody was going to have an interview with God, and you were allowed to ask one question, what would you ask?
own home. Don't rush into it. You will soon find that you have no idea what to ask. It isn't a question that I'm wondering about, it's a feeling that I have. Imagine, uh, if you had a, an interview with God, everybody was going to have an interview with God, and you were allowed to ask one question, what would you ask? I haven't actually opened Mass Effect. <laughs> if I open it before I, uh, where is it? If I open it before I, uh, turn on the thing, it likes to like steal my mouse and keep me from using it on the rest of the computer. And I was trying to type up some things for tomorrow. Wow. There we go. Oh, thank you. Well, I had it pointed that way because Taka complains if it's even slightly towards him. He gets picked up on the mic. Let's open my game. Now it should it should open. We'll get we'll get that loaded up. Bah. Woo! <laughs> oh, it's so loud, but that's good. Though. It's it's a good laugh. Beep. Oh no, we're not doing Mass Effect Three. Why is there drift? Oh, it's detecting the mouse. Leave me alone. Okay, re resume. Last time on Mass Effect 2, we completed Mass Effect 1. Um, we... We completed Mass Effect 1. On hard mode. First try. <laughs> and then uh, we started Mass Effect 2 on hard mode. We've gotten Morden Solis, Garrus Vicarian, and Zaid Masani. I thought it crashed for a second. Zaid Masani, who is uh, our one of our DLC characters. Uh, so we have quite a few more characters that we need to go pick up. And that's probably going to be most of the thing, is going to do character pickup missions. Because in this game, there's, there's, a lot, there's a lot more to do in this game when it comes to picking up your characters. I don't think the plot is as short as the first one either, but it's pretty... It's still pretty quick to get through. Like, we're not gonna have trouble. Um, we've already done... Oh boy. So we got, what, three dossiers left? Jack... Oh, we need to get our Krogans and Kasumi Goto. So I've never had Kusumi Goto because she was a DLC character and I never purchased her. So that's going to be fun. Stop the Collectors is the uh, 
regular mission. So it's wanting us to do a minimum of a few dossiers first. Um, says going to the Citadel might be an option. Uh, Zoria and the Ismar Frontier. Zakara Ward. Corliss. Purgatory. And the Emir system. I think a lot of these are in the same area, potentially. But we're done there. We're done on Omega. I think we're good on... How do I get places? I don't think we need the Omega 4 relay. I think we need the mass relay. Because I don't think... Wait, Imor can... I think that's a place we're supposed to go. I don't have any probes. Where do I get more? I don't remember where I get more probes. We don't have a store on the ship either, do we? Locker, armory, lab. I don't remember how to get more probes. Do I wait, do I go to the fuel station, I think? Hold on. Yeah, okay. Now we're at full again. So let's I think Emorcon was one of the mission places. I, I have the memory of a goldfish. Oh, there was something right here. Launching probe. It's just materials. Okay. Oh, oh, that's thick. That's Launching thick. Probe. My controller rumbling. This is like all over here. Probe launched. I have so much of all these materials, but it's like I feel like I was Probe looking away. for like an actual place and not just a uh oh. There's something Pearl. there. Yeah. But I don't see anything here. Where was it? Maybe I'm just getting it mixed up because it said the Ismar Frontier. Citadel. Citadel. The Emir. Purgatory. So I guess we're going to do a jump. Let's go to the, the relay. I think just the mass relay should do it, but we might need to go to the Omega 4. Okay, so let's see. Oh, it shows me what I have here! Cool! Overlord, Normandy crash site. Where am I at? Wait. It looks like there's things I can do in this uh, galaxy that wouldn't take fuel. So let's see, Batia. I think it'll work. I'm at 40% for this. Oh, I haven't gone to the little planet. Hello? Sometimes you can get missions by scanning planets this way. Ooh, 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 ooh. Probe launched. But I already have so many materials and I don't know where I got them all from. I feel a little ooh, feel a little Probe city doing silly feel a little silly doing more scans when like 
rogue away. I know that I probably don't need to. That'll probably be enough for this one. So we're gonna go... I wonder if it'll take less fuel if I just do this. Oh! Oh fuel. shit! Emergency FTL jump is necessary to reach a fuel station. Well, that was fucking rude. I didn't think it would take all my fuel just to get to the fucking slightly further away location. God. Jeez. Feel like a big silly now. Better get resources while I'm here, because I ain't fucking coming back. not much on this planet, so I don't think I'm gonna press it too much. So, Normandy crash site is over there. I get 17 probes. Let's take that. Probe away. In research projects, Element Zero is used for bioamp and Omni tool upgrades, which allow squad members who have biotic and tech powers to be much more effective. launched Woo. Oh. launching probe probe away that should be good enough real mass effect experience hours Explored and Gia. I better save a few probes just because I Probe know launched. that we're gonna have to be going back. We might need one just to, uh, just to Probe identify away. the crash site. I'm absolutely greedy for fucking random ass materials though. Probe away. Anyways. Alcara. Anomaly detected. Launching probe. Does it not show Launching me? Probe. Oh, find. Oh, follow the indicator. I'll take that though. Probe launched. Ooh, there it is. Launching probe. Something on our sensors. There we go. Now I can land planet side. I'm surprised they didn't already salvage the Normandy to like build the new one. That seems like it would have been 
pretty cost efficient, you know, even if not everything survived, you could probably reuse a lot of these materials really efficiently. I don't get to bring any companions? That's kind of spooky. Oh well. I'm not too scared. Let's do heavy rifle. Press veto, what? Aww. I didn't realize we were here to play some monument. <laughs> Oops. Find the lost crew. Oh, okay. 20 crew members were lost in the crash. So it looks like I'm looking... There's one dog tag. Oh, we're having flashbacks. I don't think there's any dog tags up here, though. I know one of them's gonna be near the fucking, not the bridge, but like in a, the place where, uh, like that main central area because it was definitely where we saw a dead body. Fragile crate. Hmm, there's a dog tag. Find element zero. There's another dog tag. So let's try this direction. Let's go around here. Seems like there's one right there. Oh, can I not go up on here? There we go. I think it seems a little silly to give us guns here if nothing's gonna attack us, but I guess they needed some way to get us to uh, have a meat pumpkin in this area. That's it, that's my meat pumpkin. Opening crates to find dog tags. Five out of twenty. How did the dog tags end up in crates, though? Who put them there? It makes me more nervous than the crash site itself, but you know. Six of twenty. I guess we'll go- oh, there's one right there. Got seven, eight. That looks like nine. Oh, have another flashback. Data pad. Spoke to the commander about this. All these damned aliens aboard the Alliance's most ad advanced ship. I don't trust them. That damned Asari and Aquarian, what does Shepard think this is? A zoo? Ah, oh, fuck you. Navigator Presley! Spoke with the Aquarian. It seems she's on some kind of pilgrimage trying to improve the, her home ship. I understand that. I would babysit my children or anything. Wouldn't let her babysit my children or anything, but she has to be on board. I suppose it's not too bad. For a while now, I've been taking a look at past entries in the journal and how blind I was at this time. It came on the ship firmly believing humanity was on its own path in the galaxy. Shepard brought all these aliens aboard and there's no way we could have accomplished what we did without them. I am proud to say I would die for any member of this crew regardless of what world they were born on. Oh. Thank you, Navigator Presley, who bravely overcame his racism before death. Ashley could never.
And seven helmet. That's mine. Is that all for this little section over here? I don't think I can go behind it. Yeah, okay. Let's get down here. Did I already go around this? I think I did. Yeah. So let's head for some other parts of the crash site. deck area. I don't think there's any more in here. Yeah, there's one over there. I was like, I don't see anything over here. The Norman DSR one. So sad. This is back where I started, so I need to get. Uh, no, because I dropped down. I have to go around. Oh, but there's one over here. I guess it would sort of uh, ruin the the feel if it was constantly your companions are you going. I wonder if Blake, 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 Shepard. <laughs> you know, I I guess that would uh, kind of ruin the the solemn mood of this. How many do I have left? Like two or three? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess if you uh, kill Caden, he would show up there. Interesting. That's 18, so I'm missing two of them. Okay. Gotta look for shiny things off in the distance that I probably walked past. <coughs> Can't get on this. Look for any crates. Oh, there's that out there. I don't think I've been over here. You would think if it crashed near this fucking cliff that some of the dog tags would have gone in there, but you know. Itty, what itty. Alright, I am missing one dog tag. Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare. I guess we'll see if there's any, like, right up by the Mako. Oh. For some
some reason, I was thinking, yeah, that's the Mako I landed in, and not that that's the Mako that fell out of the ship when it was destroyed. Big silly hours. I don't see one over here. I know I already went up here. Oh! That was the data pad. Can't go up there. I kind of went around like every structure, but I feel like I'm like wandering around in the dark. Did I already go up here? I swear I did. Yeah. There's no map. Okay. I got all the crates. There it is. Yeet. Alright, I got all the dog tags. It looks like that's all the material, too. There we go. I reminisced. I found the dog tags. Said goodbye to the expensive ship pieces that have been left on this frigid planet. It doesn't really give you a whole lot. I feel like I spent more on fuel than it took to get here and everything I got from here. You know? Is there a planet I didn't look at? This is 80%. One, two, three, four. Oh! Here's a little planet. The con. That's pretty well good. Launched. Launching probe. Probe. All right, so I don't know if we want to even want to bother going to uh, another. I don't think there's anything else in this uh, in this that we need. There might be like some small missions, but there's not gonna be anything that we're looking for at the moment. So we're gonna go to a relay and we're gonna also gonna like buy some fuel. And then we're gonna hit the, the mass relay. So let's see. Project Overlord, recruit the convict and secure smuggled cargo, help Zaid or Firewalker. Uh, rescue the war ward, master thief, citadel. Okay. Um, let's go get Jack. I think that sounds like a fun time. Nice. Oh, there's purgatory right there. Damn. Let's launch some probes. Probe away. Launching probe. This man has a launched. lot of palladium. 
god. Launching probe. I love Mass Effect. I love draining planets of their natural resources while pretending to have a message that isn't that. <laughs> Launching probe. I feel like palladium's like the only material we ever pick up. Oh. Probe away. Probe launched. Or, but it's it's iridium. Probe launched. We're supposed to be a poor, poor planet, and it's like, oh, we actually have so many resources right now. Element zero. Oh, 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 sound Probe associated away. with them. Very interesting detail. Launching probe. Launching probe. I don't think I even need these probe materials, away. though. I feel like the only thing I really need to do probes for is to unlock more research. Did I get all of them? Okay, there's one planet left that I haven't probed. Probe launched. Trying not to focus on palladium, especially like low stocks of it. Probe launched. Yeah, that's fine. Probe away. It's a little bit of iridium too. Hardcore gamer. Oh. Probe launched. That's enough for that. I'm gonna make sure I buy more though, because I feel like the smuggled cargo thing, I'm probably gonna go up there after I uh uh Let me see what I can find. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. I don't care, Kelly. Research. Med bay upgrade. 
Oh, that's for the... I'm gonna go ahead and just unlock that. Mm, I see now, okay. So apparently my... regardless of whether you unlock it if you're not the right class it doesn't let you use it so I, I absolutely did the wrong thing let's go ahead and just do both of these armors because like they don't cost that much materials and I kind of want to get them off the thing so woo heavy skin weave are these just- oh, these are just the ones we've already gotten. Okay. Okay. Cool. Now I don't know how the- uh, squad. How do I- Is there not like an armor customization thing? Is there still? Let me see. Armory. I think it might be in the other room. Weapons locker. Pardon? No, I don't see anything to like choose armors. Would that be personal? Is it the battery? Seems like it shouldn't be up here. Because I feel like it's an equipment upgrade, not a not a visual upgrade. But I don't know. Team status. Oh, I don't need that. Unread messages archived. Armor locker. I thought... It does. Oh, there's the blood dragon armor. Cerberus assault. Chitin armor. And then this bullshit. Uh, I don't really see a point in it if you like lose the ability to customize. It seems just a little bit silly. Let's go back to the command information center. Let's go get Jack. Well, I've been playing for almost 40 minutes doing absolutely nothing. Except survey planets. Let's go! We're gonna bring... What does he do? We'll bring Miranda for now. Okay, so he's got no points he can use. She's got... she can do that one. I'm gonna try out I want the eviscerator but I'm gonna try this fucking thing Miranda 
she's good with whatever. All right, let's go. Do I, do we get here in like the Prisoner Stage Rebellion or is that Mass Effect 3? I don't remember. I'm actually not certain. Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kirill and this is my ship. The weapons will be returned on the way out. I can't you must whistle. realize Shit. this is just a standard procedure. <laughs> it's my standard procedure to keep whistle. my gun. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. Why can't I whistle? What We're bringing hell? Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you there can we go. <laughs> if you'll follow That's me to our processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Cell block two. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Better keep some tight control over me. Am I right? Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Prison tour! <laughs> Nothing goes wrong here. <laughs> Homeschool field trip, we're going to the prison! Can you tell me about Jack? <laughs> Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space and the galaxy is a safer place. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and Oof. each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? Release we them. We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world at an unspecified place and time. <laughs> so it's an extortion record. That's pretty you fucking don't have to good, though. With my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. I, I have assured funding. That's just how it has to attempts. be. We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. Oh no! This microphone clipped into... I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Show. Our processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. Thoughts? Opinions? Oh, I can't cue them to speak here. something I can do for you? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions? I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Man, you can just yeah, guilt trip him. Right. Call it off. At least for now. I get free points, but man, this is hey. guilt trippy. Hey guys, over here. Let me ask you something. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? 
Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just <laughs> He's said. He's a never I fucking go mind. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, your clothes, your pride. He dropped I haven't the soap. taken a shower in three months. Oh, he dropped the soap. All right. You're crying. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. I'm, I'm just your average serial killer. These guys are Jeffrey fucking Dahmer. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. The guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah. Sucks to be Bimmy right now. They're going at it pretty hard. Do they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. The warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. I should go. Wish I could go. Damn. <laughs> I haven't showered in three months. He killed 20 people. I don't feel sorry for him. I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice. Yeah. He looks the same as the other guy. At least they gave him a different voice. Uh, which way were we supposed to go? Let's see. That's out processing. What's this? It leads into the same area, doesn't it? Soul pond? This is the supermax wing. It's off limits. Now oh, processing okay. is back down the hall on your right. They'll bring you back if they're after the cryo doll is finished. But we're gonna have to go there though once things start blowing the fuck up. Or is that Mass Effect 3? I'm so through the door on the far side of the room. As a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. You talked up your noble intentions with this prison, but it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems. Enemies ahead. All right, guys. Use your stinkies. I need to use mine. Flashbang. Ooh. Nice. Oh, incendiary. Like, I know something happens here. I just don't fucking remember what. I don't like the sound this gun makes. I love how the robot dog just is sitting there. Cryo is uh, this way because it's the only way to go. So there's ammo and cover it there. They threw my shield! Oh, they're actually like blue suns? Yo. Hey guys, you got like overload. Man, that guy wiggled. <laughs> Pretty good uh, automatic, actually. Shepard is on the loose. Repeat, Shepard is loose. Get people down here. Okay. 
take that. Security control. Ooh. Med station. If we hack that control, every door on the cell block opens. It's the only way to get Jack out of cryo. Oh, come Doing on. It. Be ready. Let's -a go. Oh, that mech is about to be mad as fuck. She got that Borderlands 3 looking. <laughs> no! We have to get down there. Jack looks better than most of the siren designs, gonna Warning. be honest. Warning. It sounds like heavy fight. Oh, she's gone. Yeah, interesting. Take the mech corpse, yeah. All guard for store order! Lethal force authorized! But don't kill Jack! Tex, lockdown! Lockdown! Sectors 7, 9, and 11 have lost life support. No survivors. Now, she likes subtlety. There we go. All right, Karis, do you have your sniper on? I, th I feel like it's time. Switch up. All prisoners, return to your cells immediately, or I'll open every airlock on this ship. Bro, they don't care. They are ready. All right, all right, so we're moving forward. <laughs> Very smooth, Karis. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, Miranda, did you really just stay in its line of fire until you die? I am pissing, shitting, crying on the floor. Fire in the hole. Oh, holy shit. I just took that to the vase. Disrupt! Disrupt! Where'd it go? I need help! No, you don't. You just killed the mech, girl. You don't need help. Warning. Power plant damage has led to overload. Core systems failure. Shotgun. Guard got swarmed by prisoners with improvised weapons. He never had a chance. Shows you what kind of people these prisoners are. I don't agree with everything they do here, but it's in the galaxy's best interests. This guard kept maniacs away from innocent people. Some of them are innocent people, it really depends. We're not actually really in a hurry, so like hacking everything is the most status quo. Disrupt. <clears throat> Swear, some of you guys take damage over nothing. Twelve, fourteen, and thirty. No survivors. Oh. 
Anything to loot back here? No? Okay. Man, this flank is nasty. Oh, there's another mech coming. Alright. Get the Legionnaires first. Fighting the mech 1v1, I swear to god. Again, oh my god. Stay down. Oh, all right, guys. That's enough of that. Get up. Fuck. Can I? Can I please get a taco? <laughs> Can I please get a waffle? No, it'll go over the cup! Shepard, go back! Oh my god. She said, hold on guys, let me just... <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Man, I gotta redo this area. Shepard said, hold on, I'm jumping out of cover. Girl, what? Oh yeah. Get back in. Beep. Bop. Boom. This should punch through their armor. All right, move down. All has been breached in sectors twelve. 14 and 30. No survivors. Time to die. Oh. Oh. Nope. Oh. They decided they lived over here. Taking heavy fire! Yeah, it's because you're not behind cover, girl. <laughs> He's on the right. He's on the wrong weapon. I'm gonna put her on the machine. Understood. Control. Switching sidearms. We're gonna not accidentally lure the mech over the bridge. Now let's finish you off. There we go. Spawned already? Did it spawn early last time? It did! What? Oh, fuck. Never saw me coming! I was trying to get that one. Alright, let's. Shield. Damn, that's fast. Girl. 
I was gonna see if there's anything up here. Nah. Here we go. Damn. You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Can you? Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader and I don't have time for it. I do the hard things civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. I love how it automatically spawned us out of cover. Shields are down. Can these guys stop fucking moving. Look out! Yeah, for what? What am I looking out for? There's, there's like no one here. Is he up here? Where's the boss? Ah, shit. <laughs> Hit him with that. Work. Oh my god. There we go. Where's the rest of the enemies? Oh, I'm behind them. Lamau? Please don't tell me they're gonna spawn out of this door. Oh, I can shoot it there. Got it. Yeah, there we go. I don't know where the bad guy is, but... Oh, he might be over there, I guess. He's at... Mm. <laughs> Oh, there's the boss. Guys, fuck him up. It'll be really funny. This should slow him down. Oh, I'm out of ammo. No! He's dark. Oh, there I don't think it can reach that far. Ares, do you have any ammo? I need some. What are you doing? Miranda's in the shit right now. Miranda really said, fuck it, we ball. I don't have the range for this shit that you guys are pulling. She knocked him the fuck out. <laughs> Thank you, Miranda. Stop. She 
Jason! The fuck? What the hell do you want? I just saved your ass. He was already dead. He just didn't know it. Now, what the hell do you want? My name is Shepard, and I'm here to get you off this ship. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. I'm working with Cerberus for now because they can help me. With them, for them, I don't care. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? This ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety, and we're asking for your help. We could just knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. We're not going to attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Join my team and I'll do what I can for you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give you full access. Shepard, you know what to like, do? What? <laughs> It upsets the cheerleader even better. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out. We love Jack. <laughs> Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. <laughs> Rand is like, this is fucking horse shit. <laughs> oh, Miranda, I didn't collect a dossier. It was your boss. I'm sorry. She's down in the hole. We can actually go talk to uh, Jack right now and see what she has to say. She's probably gonna have some interesting dialogue. She's really fun. Looks like Zaid is down here too. We could talk to him. I've literally never talked to Zaid. I literally, I just never used him. I did like his loyalty mission just because, but that's about it. You get the Jack, we go downstairs. I was gonna see who's up here. Some engineers, Donnelly and Daniels. This is nice. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship. I like them. Getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected, it's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're out to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. <laughs> Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? 
After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? I feel like they Once just told gone, me that. Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a he talented... He was cancelled! Oh no! But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love Indians, <laughs> and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Carry on. <coughs> Will do, Commander. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you she would. That's so cute. <laughs> They're fun. Uh, Jack should be down here. Yeah, there she is. Hey. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. If they're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy is going to be a lot emptier when I'm done. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm going to chase them. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a queen. I could help. We have to stop the collectors. I don't have time for piracy. When this is done, we'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. <laughs> Simple. I should go. Yep. Jack is a fun character. We love her. We're completely platonic about her. We're not completely platonic about Miranda, but you know, we don't have to talk about that. Let's see if Miranda's will actually give us uh, her special mission. Who else is down here? Zaid? Let me see. Cargo. <laughs> Surveillance. Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Kazak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Get the helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Oh, I don't think he does talk like at oh, all. Oh, yeah. That's a model of the Varicon. Turian frigate. Hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. 
No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. I do like how he's in the room with the surveillance so he can see where everybody is on the ship at all times. That, like, strategically, it's a really good position to be in if you think that anybody is going to betray anybody on the ship. Because at any time, he can be like, oh, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> he's also right next to the airlock. So if he has a, a way to get out, I mean, he's got a way out, like, guaranteed. Miranda's room is... That one? Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah. He's taking it pretty hard. Let's talk to Miranda! Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. What exactly are your duties, aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Get ready, guys. While you're chatting with Miranda, there's just a lot of, like, random camera pan ass shots. So I'm just giving you a little warning that that might happen. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus' long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your... accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. Okay, I think this I is where the ass shots start activating. There is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. <clears throat> but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, 
They're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. We also haven't introduced ourselves to Jacob. I didn't want to accidentally romance anybody, that was the only reason. But I'll try, I'm gonna try and talk to most all of our squad mates. Just to sort of get a, uh, you know, a, li a little bit of their personalities and maybe some of their side missions. I know Miranda definitely gives us a side mission at one point, I don't remember if Jacob does. But I didn't really use him in my first playthrough. I was like using all of our aliens, so I didn't use Miranda either. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. I just hate how they animated his the teeth. Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Like, it's like when every other character talks, you can, like, kind of see the... The, like inside of their mouth and their teeth a little bit but like the inside of his mouth is all teeth I forward to working and I'm you, trying to figure out likewise commander let me know if you need anything. why that decision was made okay we, we talked to Jacob a little bit but Jacob is a good character There's a lot of characters that are good characters. I'm just so in love with Garrus Vicarian that I can't see straight, so you know, it's just... No messages for you, Commander. I'm, a, I'm biased. <laughs> so, smuggled cargo is where we're gonna go next. I don't think we'll have trouble getting there. And we're good on probes, right? Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and... Oh, man. Let's investigate this, uh, this galaxy. Wenrum. Oh. Launching probe. Probe. I'm gonna try and ignore like palladium for the most part. But this is a rich planet, so we want to use most of our probes on this one. Probe launched. It does have a lot of good materials. I don't think we're short on resources. I think we're mostly gonna have to like figure out where to buy a lot of these uh, upgrades so we can actually spend the resources on them. Cause right now it's like, we have a lot of these extra currencies, but none of the upgrades unlocked to actually do anything about it. Remind me what the button is. I'm looking for the optimal. Launching probe. No, there's not a lot here. Quorum. <laughs> Quorum. Pro 
probe away. Oh, this one's pretty rich too in resources. Launching probe. That's a lot. Oh my god. Launching probe. Yeah, get both of them. Launching probe. God. Launching probe. Probe away. Yeah, there's not much else. I'll do that. We'll at least uh do a quick scan. Okay, jeez. Everything in this solar Broke system away. is rich, isn't it? Launching probe. Sure. You know what? God, why are all the planets in the solar system just like covered in fucking material? Probe away. It's ridiculous. Seventy-one percent explored. Antikra. Ooh, Probe that's launched. good. Probe away. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, because I'm gonna need a probe for this planet, aren't I? Oh, actually. It just has a land option. Like, we already know where we're going? Launching probe. Interesting. Well, I'll use the rest of my probes or in this solar Launching system. Probe. I don't think we're gonna sidetrack to the other one at all, so... Probe away. Probe launched. Zero. Nice. Let's actually take Jack with us. I think that'll be fun. I don't think we have a second outfit for her, but... Do we? <gasps> we do have the second outfit! Let's take her with us. She's fun. She's so fun. Two points. Let's do. Let's save our points. Not a very good distribution, but we're trying. Shotgun and hand cannon. Oh, that's good. Level scaling is also just a little bit nicer in this. I haven't saved in a while, so I'm just gonna do that. The level scaling is also just a little bit nicer in this game. You've been spotted. Oh, yeah, thank you.
stuff. Garris, what are you doing up here? Garris, get down! Okay, well, we got one. Oh, Jack's down. Get up, Jack. Oh, damn. Ow. You being homing really did the took the shit out of me, alright. This is gonna kill me. Damn! He move around so fast! This fine. Man, we shredded the other one's armor so much faster than the second one. We've been spotted. Yeah, I know. Maybe if we move up it would be better? I don't know. Oh. See, this is going faster. Oh. Oh, those weapons are using this one. I know. Is this? Oh. Ooh. Target's protected by armor. But it slowly takes the armor down. There's a point to this, I promise. Hostile. I know it's hostile, Garrus. Yeah, Is that another one? I'm gonna scream. What the fuck? do though. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy fuck, I didn't realize this weapon just shredded mechs. Holy hell. I'll throw you like a toy. Supposed to be collecting the crates or what mission is this?
I'm so confused. Is th was that the whole mission? Hello? There's gotta be something to, to collect back here, you know? Power cells? Yeah, that'll work. Who would have thought the art projector would have uh, ended this in like 30 seconds? I think it's like the first uh, mission after we get our dossier that's gonna be so sad. I think that's that's it, right? Is that it? You just leave? I don't know what this mission was for. If it's like DLC or something? No, I know that's what crates are saying. So I wasn't supposed to shoot the crates. Got it. Okay. Lava. <laughs> don't understand. That had to be like a DLC mission or something. How many probes do I lo have left? One? Yeah, okay, I gotta leave. I think next, uh, so we're done there for now. Project Overlord, Master Thief and Citadel, Warlord, Zaid, and Firewalker. Firewalker is a DLC mission, and Zaid is the uh, loyalty mission. But we're gonna go recruit the Warlord. Oh, he's just on Corliss? Just like that? He's just coreless. Don't get coreless. <laughs> Probe launched. So that's pretty good. Probe away. Anyways, let's let's go ahead and jump into the mission. You guys don't want to watch me sit here and uh investigate six bajillion planets, no matter how much fun I think it is for some reason. Let's go get the warlord. Let's go get the warlord. Alright. That was fun. We're gonna try that again. Jack and Garrus. And now I know the art projector absolutely just fucks up mechs. I wish I would have realized that before. Dossier doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. There is only one measure of success. Kill or be killed. Perfection is your goal. Loudspeakers. Someone likes the sound of their voice. Stay focused. We're looking for a Krogan warlord. Suns, they're everywhere. I guess we still are like in the uh, Omega Four or whatever. This gun is so loud. I feel like I should actually turn down the volume a little bit. Just a tad. Just, just because, like the I don't know if it's just this gun or whatever. It's the loud as shit. Jack, well now we can't what aim for them. Worry about? He's on the ground. 
The wounded Merc? Oh boy. Hello. Shit. Shit. I won't stop bleeding. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... You son of a bitch. Doesn't look that bad, actually. He doesn't need to know that. I knew it wasn't Berserkers. Ah, not at range. You're Mercs. Or Alliance. I'm not... I'm not telling you anything. I've got a nice application of Metagel ready to go. But if you'd rather I just keep walking. Son of a bitch. I, I just... I don't know anything. I just shoot the overflow from the labs. The old Krogan up there, he, he's really been cleaning house lately. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. So we use them for live ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move. We need coordinates on that Krogan pack. I want your friends gone. Understand? I can see the polygons on uh, her cheek. <laughs> patrol, the last group Dispersed. Lost sight five minutes ago. Dispersed? Jador will be pissed. She wanted a show. You asked for a report. You got it. Dispersed. Understood. Returning to the labs. There. You see? I'm helping. What is Jador planning to do with all these Krogan? Replace us, probably. I sure wouldn't want to see an army of them coming at me. Only she can't control them. They aren't supposed to be crazy, but they're Krogan. How smart are they to start? All right, bitch. If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Funny. I thought so. Come on. <laughs> Our warlord is somewhere in Jador's life. Training is part of your contract. Failure to perform means liquidation, legal and otherwise. Stay strong. Yeah, we knew they'd be here. Garris. Get on snipers. Take Change weapons. Yeah, y'all crazy. Right in the hip. Oh damn, I missed. Garris, get him. Oh Jack, Jack threw him. <laughs> Never mind. Good job, guys. Oh, that works. No shields. Damn, I got two of them. Oh, I forgot Shockwave has to like travel on the ground. I missed that ability. Big happy that it's back. It's not the same in Mass Effect 1. I don't think there's anything really down here. Or is that Mass Effect 3, I think? Yeah, I think we don't get we don't get uh Good morning. You are different. New. Yeah, these are the tank grown you boys. Don't smell like this world. Seven night cycles, and I had felt only the need to kill. But you <laughs> Something makes me speak. Aww. Night cycles. Seven days. They must breed them full size, ready to kill. Not much improvement over regular mercs if they need training. Bread to kill. No. I kill because my blood and bone tell me to. But it's not why I was flushed from Glass Mother. Survival is what I hear in my head. Against the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed. Even before waking. That Aww. is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. OK, 
Kier's voice? Did he speak to you while you were in your tank? I heard the voice. Not like now, with ears. Inside. I called it Father. It liked that. But it was disappointed. I'm not what it needs me to be. A lab with Krogans. Sounds like an attempt to cure the genophage. Cure? Cure was never whispered. Survive, resist, ignore. I destroyed Saren's cure. How does Okir expect these Krogan to ignore the genophage if not by curing it? No idea. Doesn't look like he's had much success so far. You're supposed to be part of a mercenary army. Do you remember Jador? I know that name. It causes anger, but also laughter. It is not a name that will be sung when we march. Damn. I don't know what that means, but I have heard it many times. How can you speak if you're only a week old? There was a scratching sound in my head, and it became the voice. It taught things I would need. Walking, talking, hitting, shooting. Then the voice said I was not perfect, and the teaching stopped. And now I am here. It was taught enough to be judged. I still don't know what the goal was, though. I don't know, but I am not perfect. Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The Glass Mother. She is up past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. This poor Krogan baby. He's so confused. He just woke up. Rough stuff. I like it. He's been alive a week. He doesn't know what to do. He just knows he's being shot at and he has a full suit of armor and a gun. Fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. <laughs> Can you show us the way? Help us fight to the lab. No. You're giving up? I will fight if they come, but I feel it deep that I must wait. I kill, but only here. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called. Released. Poor baby. He is just a boy. He is just a boy. Not a lot of room to maneuver. Stay short. Oh, big ouchie. What the? Oh. I was like, what? I have to reload during adrenaline rush? Watch the Krogan. All right, Jack, I'm gonna need you to hit that boy with a shockwave. Oh. He went down, I guess. Is he? I guess there's nothing down there. I guess that's just. They're up ahead. Oh damn! Hold on, I need a different weapon. Oh, just kidding. I need the- Shit. Yeah, I need the armor shredder. Hold on. Oh, shit. Yeah, thank you. Oh, knocked off the platform. so bad doing this. These guys don't know any better.
like they're just they're just little baby clones and they're being used against their will. Where is he? Oh. Who I wonder if I hit him with the arc projector, I'll hit both of them. Oh, I hit at least one of them. Garrus, what are you doing over there? Garrus, back up! Actually. Yeah, see if you can shockwave him, actually. I want to see it. Oh, well. Thank you, Garrus. Ooh. Good job, everybody. Run while you can. Why are they still spawning? Uh oh. I love how that like didn't hit anything. Rogan incoming. No shields. The music stopped, so I think that's the last of them. We're the heavies. Let's go. Me heavy. I think this is where we're going. So, where's my, where's my thing? Oh God! I love when I actually bump my mouse and then can't do the puzzle. Seems like this is the only way to go, but it seems weird to bypass the door for the place we're supposed to be going. Hmm. This looks interesting. New sniper. Wow. Trouble incoming. Oh, me too. Me too. Hold on. Use Unity to heal your squad. Jack, get up! Is that all? music is still playing as if I have something to do. I don't see any enemies. So I'm a little confused. Ah, they're right over here. Jack will get up when we finish the fight. I'm not gonna... <laughs> He's at. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, samesies. Impressive. Yeah, I thought so too. Let's move up. 
covering you. Oh. No, Garrus! Garrus, stop taking the rocket fire! Oh my god. He literally said, alright, cool, I'm just gonna walk up. I guess I did say I would cover Garrus, huh? I feel just a little bit silly. Watch this. Oh! Temporarily back from the yoga? If it sends in another wave, I'll, I guess I'll just heal the team. There we go. It's a free heal. <laughs> hey Maki, welcome back. Uh, we got Jack, which was really fun. Uh, I think you'll like her. And uh... We're just working on uh, getting a another companion character because we haven't filled out our dossier yet. But I think you'll I think you'll like P90X. Yo, very extreme. Use concussive shot on that one, and I'll use mine on this guy. <laughs> Coordination. All right, Jack, use shockwave. You have no core. Oh, dude. Jack, what are you doing up there, Jack? No. Jack, use shockwave. It'll be really funny. Damn, look at him fly. Man, I can't believe I missed like Oh well. Ooh, Metagel. I'll take it. Salvage. So oh, you're gonna go make dinner? Okay. Have a good dinner. Hitting them with all the AoE. They really just funneled them out like that for us, though. Shot. I need everyone out of the labs to fight this. Every floor, every outpost, move! It said blue sun scorps. Oh, there it is. And he's like, I want my money. Oh, we already got him. Damn. Damn, look at him wiggle. Alright, Jack, you know what to do. Hit him with the whoosh. Hit him with the whoosh. So we got rocket troopers. Cells. Oh, perfect. Concentrate fire on my position. Concentrate on ah! <laughs> Concentrate on ah! There's a door. There's a PDA. Ooh, nice, nice. Oh, I made this one. Where's the... There 
There we go. Meep moop. All right, guys, let's uh, let's find our warlord. Warlord. Uh, warlord. Warlord. Nemo. Warlord. Oh. Oh, I missed. Firing a high impact shot! Damn, I missed. Biggest silly. I get the biggest silly award. Stand up. Is there still just someone behind this cover? No? Give me some ammo. Uh oh. Hey Jack, you wanna hit him with a... I think he saw you coming. Damn. Oh, uh oh. Ha! <laughs> I hate how these rockets curve around corners. Fuck these rocket launchers, man. Jack, wake up. Jack, wake up. Jack, wake up. She's taking a little nap. Oh boy. Taking cover. Use concussive Fire shot. shot. Maybe I should use concussive shot. Really? It said, wait, you gotta reload, man. Leave me alone. Light him up. <laughs> nice shooting. Thanks, I missed like every shot. Ow! Big Ow, who's up there? Fire in the hole. Yeah, are they shooting through the stairs? Actually, fuck off. Damn, when my whole concussive shot don't do nothing. I already got this Raptor on. Let's do a flashbang. Take it. Light him up. My flashbang didn't even go all the way. I don't want to use Unity. I'm going to do this myself. She'll be fine. I'm playing pastry tag with this guy back here. Fire in the hole. Yeah, we can just move up. Get up here. Oh, whoa. They got a rocket, motherfucker. Because they keep shot, shooting ready. the stairs. Oh, concussive shots ready? Then why don't you you? Impressive. Where are you? Where'd you go? Garrus, I said get up here for you a reason. It. Where did you go? Where are you? Why are you behind the stairs? What are you gonna aim at? Their ankles? Why is he not ducking behind cover? I have one shot. Are you ready? One shot. Garris, I was get okay. 
Oh. I didn't realize there was another one. Or a few. I am not in a good position here. <laughs> okay, take care of this one first. I thought I had sniper ammo. That should have killed her, but fuck me, I guess. Fuck. Got her. Alright, Garrett. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Alright, can you, can you... <laughs> How did that work? You are behind the stairs. Man really said, I'm shooting through the wall. And you know what? Valid. I love how I took rocket fire and didn't use the grenade that I was trying to use. No, Shepard, are you fucking kidding me? Get back by the car! Why are you in front? <laughs> Stop! 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 Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna scream. How far back did it throw us? I don't think this is that far. Shepard really said, haha, wee! Get up there. I don't care who it is, just someone get up there. Faster than me, that's not fair. Jack, did you really? I don't know if I want to heal her now, because she's not even going to get... <laughs> and I fire and I miss. Really, all it takes is two snipers in a dream, you know? Concussive shot ready. Then concuss her. go up there and if we'd have a better vantage for over there probably what we should do honestly yeah this is way better actually Garrett get up here wait not yet okay now flashbang I was about to get hit with all sorts of shit for that. I was not about to take that fucking hit. Alright, one shot. Fair. Shredded. 
Wait, did I pick up ammo? I didn't. The ammo's right there, but I can't get it. <laughs> I wonder if the pistol would actually be pretty good here. Let's see. Ooh, nice. Ouch. Big hurts. Well, he got the rocket launcher. That's what matters. That's right, get a concussion. Jack's awake. This should be just about it, huh? It doesn't feel like it's a... It feels like a much longer Shepard, mission. Shoot. You know me. Ranith, not this. I shut down the security cams as soon as I saw it was you. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad it's you shooting up the place. Sorry, Ranith the Noptis. You let me Vermeer. go when you destroyed Saren's lab on Vermeer? Had to outrun a nuke in a utility pod, but it's still a second chance. I assume you have a good reason for being at this lab. Don't worry, I'm not wasting a little the salty. chance you gave me. My work here, strictly beneficial. Not for the mercs. Jador's on a standard power trip. <laughs> but Okir is trying to do something good, even if his methods are a little extreme. <clears throat> Everyone deserves a second chance, right? And sometimes giving one pays off. I take care of my debts. What is Okir trying to do here? It's complicated. Jador wants a private army, but Okir mostly ignores her. He's running the project for his own reasons. I created a mental imprint routine to educate his tank bread. Most don't get through it. He dumps them for some reason. He wants to help his people, but he's not looking for a genophage cure, and he's not going for numbers. That's all I know. Finding you in a place like this makes me think letting you go was a mistake. You don't want that. We agree on that. Don't worry. I plan on staying as far away from anything to do with you as possible. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna run like hell before you blow the place or something. I know how you work. <laughs> she said, yeah, I'm getting the fuck out of here if you're here. It's just, it's just nice. unprecedented. That'll bite you in the ass someday. Thanks, Jack. Secure terminal. Oh, stretch, good idea. Thank you, Core. Ooh, big stretch. Yeah. And some water. I am being so good. Ooh, save your progress? Yeah. The autosave in this game, luckily, is really good, so I haven't had to be super on top of it, but, you know. Watched your progress. It's about time. The batteries on these tanks will not wait while you play with these idiotic mercs. I take it you're Oak here. You don't seem particularly caged or grateful that I'm here. You may claim to be here to help, but the formerly deceased shepherd is not a sign of gentle change. Surprise! So we're not actually oh, here for Oak here, here, by the way. I'm sure Rana has already revisited your actions on Vermeer. I'm sure you're eager to retell the story. Such a tale. Saren, the Spectre Trader, <laughs> threatens the return of the Krogan Horde by curing the Genophage, undoing the gentle genocide of the Turians and Salarians. But before Saren can deliver his endless troops, in rides Shepard, securing victory through nuclear fire. I like that part. It has weight. I didn't have a lot of room for finesse. <laughs> if there had been any other solution, I'd have considered it. But I approve. Saren's pale horde He said yes, not however. Ruin. Numbers alone are nothing. The mistake of an outsider. One that these mercenaries have also made. I gave their leader my rejects for her army. But she grows impatient. It's time for you to take me out of here. We're here about collectors, not your problems. I see. Yes. Collector attacks have increased. A human concern. My requests were focused elsewhere. 
There he is. I acquired the knowledge to create one pure soldier. With that, I will inflict upon the Genophage the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. Your search for the perfect soldier created a lot of failures. You don't care about them? I failed no one. My rejects are exactly what Jador asked for. She simply lacks the ability to command. They are strong, Damn. healthy, and useless to me. I need perfection. If a few thousand are rejected, so be it. My work will purify the Krogan. We will not be restored. We will be renewed. I thought the Krogan ideal was a return to the numbers that threatened the galaxy. We will not need numbers. My soldier is a template. It is a greater threat than all the phantom siblings that would have been at its flank. The galaxy still bears the scars of the Horde. But it will learn to fear the lands. What did you get from the collectors? I need whatever you know about them. They are strange, so isolated, yet very available when your sacrifice is big enough. I gave them many Krogan. I may have information for you, but the tech was consumed in my prototype. After I determined how to use it without killing the subjects. The deaths were unfortunate, but I only need one success to start the process. So you don't want to cure the genophage? Contrary to what survivors claim, the genophage does not produce strong Krogan. The only quality it filters is the ability to survive the genophage. For every thousand stillborn, too many weaklings live. Damn. Every survivor is branded as precious. That's produced more cuddling than your collective human teats. <laughs> he said, boobies. <laughs> a genophage. Let a thousand die in a clutch. We will defeat it by climbing atop our dead. That is the Krogan way. If your pet soldier is as strong as you think, maybe I can use him. Perhaps I can strike a deal to secure passage. But my prototype is not negotiable. It is the key to my legacy. Said, bitch, not my She's perfect soldier. Me. She'll kill my legacy with a damn valve. Shepard, you want information on the collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. Now you know something? Don't jerk me around, O'Kir. I will give you everything I can. My legacy must not suffer this insult. Jador will be with the rejected tanks. Kill her. I will stay and do what must be done. All right, we gotta we gotta free our son from the tank, so we gotta. Boo! Oh, lab terminal. I'll take that. Got it. Can use this. Oh shit. I got Renegade and Paragon? Or is that just from the conversation that's finally coming around? So here's the boss before we get grunt. Oh. We've been spotted. Ah! Okira oh. is the only one with toys to command. I don't like this setup. This sucks. He's coming up the stairs! Jack! Jack is coming! I can take you. Oh, yeah, I need to. Get a better angle on that mech. Closing. 
That'll help. I'm gonna have to use Unity for this one. Get ready for close combat. <laughs> All right, guys, hit it with the good stuff. Actually, all alive right now. That's crazy. Fuck! Alright, guys, hit him with the good stuff. Can we like just hit her with all the all the dumb shit? She's, she's hiding in the stupidest place. Oh. I don't see my health and now I'm a little scared. Am I even alive right now? Wait, don't do anything. Shit. Okay, now. Like, my health bar has glitched out. for our precious son. Why would someone so fanatical sacrifice himself for one Krogan? Crack it open. Let's see what a pure Krogan's got. A pure Krogan could pack a hell of a punch. I can always use another heavy hitter. If he'll help. I doubt anyone's asked for his opinion. Normandy, Okir is a no-go, but we have a package that needs retrieval. Our He's precious a boy! <laughs> That's our son! <laughs> That's my boy! So if you don't know anything about Grunt... Oh no, we're gonna wake yeah, him. You've said that a few times we're, now. we're gonna wake him up. A normal Krogan is dangerous. This one was created and likely educated by a madman. I see everyone's enjoying the new paperweight. Concerns... We don't know anything about it, Commander. I know. You don't find that interesting? Krogan fight well at close quarters. Perhaps awakening him in a confined space wouldn't be prudent. Noted. The cargo hold is safe enough while I decide what to do with him. <coughs> For those who don't know anything about Grunt, he is just like how some of those other clones are in that he is just a baby. He was just uh, born at full adult size. So, he's he's definitely like a son to Shepard in a lot of ways. He's just a precious boy. I don't want to fucking talk to the elusive man. I want to go talk to, uh... Oh, is he in the hold? 
Krogan pod. Okay, he's down here. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, view our precious little son, or our sweet little boy. Port cargo. That's our boy. The subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Did he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate He's minimal sleeping. cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. I'm leaving it the way it is. Of course, Shepard. We're gonna save it and then we're gonna open him up. The subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Stand by. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. He's either a powerful addition to the crew or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. I don't think you can do anything wrong by opening it early. I don't give a shit about the elusive man. This is my son. I'm letting him out of the tank. God forbid he do anything silly. Silly. Female. Before you die, I need a name. I'm Commander Shepard, and I don't take threats lightly. I suggest you relax. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank, Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. You wouldn't prefer Okir or Legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. I have a good ship and a strong crew, a strong clan. You'd make it stronger. If you're weak and choose weak enemies, I'll have to kill you. Our enemies are worthy, no doubt about that. Mm. Hm. That's acceptable. I'll fight for you. Glad you saw reason. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Offer one hand but arm the other. Why, Shepard? If I find a clan, if I find what I, hey, I want, Are you also I will baby? be honored to eventually pit them against you. My son Marco, my son Grunt, all my little sons. Shepard. Look, they're a precious boy. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. Train them good if you want to take on collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. Did Okir give you any imprints about the collectors? I see blurry ships, guesswork about strength. Nothing to help pick a weak spot and tear. Okir spent all his time on old hatreds. Whatever he had, it was used up when he made me. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. Smooth. <laughs> much. Smooth like brain. Tank. Come back later. That's all for now. Shepard. That's our precious baby boy. We can take him out on missions now. That's gonna be fun.
All right, so we wanted to be seen in the debriefing. Oh, okay, it's in the command center. That makes sense. Smooth-brained, just like me and all my little alien friends. I'm assuming it's just back here somewhere. Oh wow, it's the car! I mean, what's that? Shepard. Oh yeah, he can give a mean head, but I think he does in like a cutscene or something. If it isn't under attack, it soon will be. Has Morton delivered the countermeasure for the seeker swarms? Oh, so this is the plot advancing. Let's hope he works well under pressure. There's something else you should know. One of your former crew, Caden Alenko, is stationed on Horizon. Here we go. Last I knew, Caden was Alliance. Why is he out in the Terminus systems? Officially, it's an outreach program to improve Alliance relations with the colonies. But they're up Marco, and he's they sweet boy. Alenco, what are you doing? Oh, don't step I on the keyboard, baby. With him. Don't step on the keyboard, baby. The Collectors just happened to pick a colony with one of my former crew. I don't buy it. Don't step it on the It shouldn't be a baby. surprise the Collectors are interested he's in you. Boy. Especially if they're working for the Reapers. They might be going after him to get to you. Send the coordinates. We'll head straight there. This is the most warning we've ever had, Shepard. Good luck. We're not heading straight there. Elusive man will never know. Joker, oh, I for so. I've got to go see the professor. Aye, aye, Commander. Wait, I don't have a choice? Damn. Marco time. Yeah. <gasps> hey, sweet boy. He's on my chair. Tell me you have something. Yes. Yes. I think, yeah, it just throws me in, huh? Damn. I can't wait for y'all to see how Alenko treats us. <laughs> Lola, we've got a problem. Still can't calibrate the targeting matrix? Those defense towers are useless if we don't figure it out. Sorry, Commander. Getting our comm systems back online takes priority. Yeah. I'm petting okay. Marco. <laughs> Surprised people haven't tried to blame that one on me, too. People out here don't trust the Alliance. It's nothing oh, personal. Oh, sweet boy. Oh, sweet what is boy. That? Hey, Marco. Get everyone to the safe house. I'll cover you. Run. The animation when the bugs hit people just looks like they're getting like awkwardly electrocuted. Elenko, no! There he goes. He's forzing. Hey, my God. Hey, baby. Oh, you so sweet boy. You so sweet boy, Marco. You so sweet boy. That'd be horrifying though, because you can't move. You're just frozen by the bugs crawl all over you. So uncomfortable. Bugman. 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 Bug. Bugman. Eee, the bugs crawl. Yeah, it's the worst. Imagine being fucking para- it's- it's literally a sleep paralysis nightmare. That you can't move and the bugs are crawling all the fuck over you. I forgot about Harbinger. There he is. He's like the main villain of this game, kinda.
We are the harbinger of their perfection. Prepare these humans for ascension. All right, so now we could take, ooh, and he has two appearances too, cool. So let's see, concussive shot, he has shotguns and assault rifles. So we wouldn't have any biotic power if we took him with us right now. So I'm just gonna take these two again because they're a pretty, pretty cohesive team. Ooh, but we did level up a lot, so. Health up. Let's take that. Weapon damage and health. Let's have him do more damage. Shockwave. Yeah, we're doing a lot of shockwave with her, so. Looks good. Hit it with a, a nice manual save. We're ground side. Morden, you sure those armor upgrades will protect us from the seeker swarms? Certainty impossible, but in limited numbers, should confuse detection make us invisible to swarms? In theory. In theory? That sounds promising. Experimental <laughs> technology only test is contact with seeker swarms. Look forward to seeing if you survive. Limo! <laughs> Alright, uh, Garrus on sniper. Girl on pistol. Switch up. Damn, they take a few hits to kill. Firing a high impact <laughs> shot. Got him. She got him. Power cells. Loving all the very uh, pointed bug noises. Very nice. Collectors are disrupting communications. We're on our own now. I can take you all. Look out. Really? No, no, no. Taking fire. Oh. Fuck you. Garrus, I'm not trying to kick you out of the cover. I'm trying to hide with you. Stop me. You know, I believe her. Nothing can stop her. BB collectors. No, the husks were from the first game. Uh, they're just, uh, they're not babies. They're just humans put on pipes. Damn, she did it though. Firing a high impact shot. Thank you, Garrus. Things look like the husks that Geth used on Eden Prime. I thought the Geth got that technology from Sovereign. Shit. 
So the elusive man was right. The collectors answer to the Reapers. I love how Jack is like, I'm totally not invested. Ah, shit. Collectors and Reapers working together. This should come in handy. Heavy synth weave. Cool. Looks half human. Guess we know what happened to the colonists. No. The Geth impaled their victims on giant spikes to turn them into husks. But we haven't seen any. New technology, the baby. Must have already had the husks. They New want technology. The alive for something else. Collectors must be experimenting on the colonists. What are they up to? Sounds almost worse than what Cerberus did to me. Guess we'll find out when we stop them. The collectors aren't getting away with more victims. Let's move out. Whatever you say, boss lady. We might Peaceful. end up, uh... It usually takes a lot of chemicals for me to get this kind of quiet. All these empty buildings. It's unsettling. I don't think anything hatches out of there, but I'm nervous. Oh, I can hack into a safe. That's fine. Not too nervous to steal. Ayy! Flashbang. I love this Is there more? Damn, where he at though? Oh, I see him. Okay, which one of us missed? Because I know one of us hit it and one of us didn't. <laughs> when you're trying to do something cool, but Garrus makes uh, the enemy die before you can explode anything. This is the way we're going. What was that? Explosive container. There's so many explosive containers, I don't like that. Oh! There's some colonists up there. Looks like some type of stasis field. Leaves victims helpless, but fully aware. They've been like this a long time. Ooh, I'll take the particle beam. Is this a heavy weapon? Doesn't say. Alright. Cool. Okay, so that's not what it's for. Got it. Hacking. Ta-da! <laughs> it's flawless. Money. Alright. Hey, that's not where I thought we were going. Maybe it's that way? Maybe it's this way, because I didn't see these guys before. So, yeah, yeah, I think this is it. yet. There they are. Harbinger's like, what's going on over there? I am 
I'm assuming direct control. Oh. <laughs> I like his voice. I'm, I'm not being bad, I promise. What? I lost the cool weapon I picked up? That's not fair. Oh, wait, no, it's right here. Ignore the fallen. Did we already defeat him? Is that really all it took? Man, this weapon's great! <laughs> I love collector weapons. They're pretty rad, actually. You got all of them? Alright. Computer. Thank you. I'm firing my laser. Yeah, essentially. I am essentially firing my laser. I don't see anything up here. The music hasn't stopped being spooky, but like, I, I don't think there's any more enemies. <laughs> Where'd they go? Hello? Oh, I just almost stepped on a colonist. I'm guessing we should go in there, but... Power cells... Is there anything over here? There's like some kind of door over there. And this seems like a really, uh, extremely defensible position for some reason. What the fuck could be behind here? Sure, you know what? We're gonna find out. This won't be a mistake. It's a loadout screen. Oh shit, was this not where we were supposed to go? Or was where we were supposed to go? I think I've missed something. That's fine. I got the cool gun. I Company. think that matters. Get out here now. You're, you're human. What are you doing out here? You leave them right here. You had to hear them trying to get in. Seems like it's hard to hide from the Collectors. Those things are Collectors? You mean, they're real? Damn. I thought they were just made up, you know, propaganda to keep us in Alliance space. No, they got Lilith. I, I saw her go down. Sten, too. They, they got damn near everybody. What's your name? What do you do here? Name's Delan. Mechanic. I came down to check on the main grid after we lost our comm signals. And I heard screaming. I looked outside and there were swarms of bugs. Everyone they touched just froze. I, I, I sealed the doors. Damn it, it's the Alliance's fault. Aw, oh, come on. Commander Alenko here and built those defense towers. It made us a target. Tell me more about this Alliance rep. Commander As if Alenko, I don't know anything. He was some kind of hero or something. That made nothing to me, though. But rather, he stayed back in council space. Any idea what he was doing on Horizon? Supposed to be helping us get the defense towers up and running. I got the feeling he was here for something else. Spying on us, maybe. If you have defenses, we can use them against the Collector ship. You'd need to calibrate the targeting system first. It's never worked right. One of us should be able to figure it He's out. He said, hold on. The location. I'm a professional at calibration. On the other side of the colony. Pretty hard to miss. The targeting controls are at the base. Probably just better if you stay out of the way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I'll let you out, but I'm locking the door behind you. Good luck. Damn, so I did miss a portion of the map. That's fine. And do a loadout. I doubt there was anything that special back there, so. I didn't. What? 
Didn't miss anything special? I hope not. Look at all these tractors. I love how he yelled that out and then did absolutely jack shit about it. Direct intervention is necessary. Oh, no it ain't, motherfucker. Get back out of there. Assuming control. Leave. 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 He's gone. <laughs> I have eliminated him. What is that? Oh, fuck. Scions. You have put 1k plus hours? Oh, mood. I just don't have these maps memorized and I'm always thinking, oh no, I missed something. I had no idea you were a Mass Effect, uh... I knew you were, like, saying things about it, but I mean, like, a, a die-hard thousand hours. Okay, damn, he got... He got gone. Whatever this thing is, I want it to not be here. How did that miss? Hitbox said, nah. Jack, what the fuck? Got him. Oh, it's using biotics. Fuck you. There we go. Get up, Jack. Damn. I didn't have money like that. <laughs> That's the only reason I hadn't had all of it. Is there really nothing over here? Boring. Ooh. Yeah, but that's the size of point. Yeah, fair. Can you fair. use this? Biotic damage. That's my middle name. Oh, fuck. That's not a place to cross there, huh? I need to collect everything! Oh my god, you gotta go all the way around just for some fucking power cells, and I'm gonna do it, you know? Give me... Cool. That's gonna help against Harbinger, at least. I think it's really funny that the, the, the weapon you pick up is just, like, really useful for getting rid of him. If you just use it on him and him alone, it's just like... Probably loaded onto the collector ship by now. We should hurry. Why is there, like, so many turns to take up here but, like, nothing in these places? It seems like a convenient vantage point for there not being anything to fight over here. Like, very, very eerily convenient. That all this cover is back here and we didn't have anything to fight in this area up here. See? Top. Door, door. Top. Top. Sell, sell. Oof. No, don't you use that shit on me. Jack, I need you to use it back on them. This is going down. Cut that out. Cut that out. No, no, no. Stop hitting me with-
with that shit. Can he disrupt if I'm back here? Can I tell him to disrupt? Alright, I'm gonna get behind better cover. Like, way up here. There is no cover. Oh, shit! Fucking course, I'm about to die over this shit. Unity! Didn't work. That looks like a boss arena. Yeah, a, a very astute observation. I didn't pull out the nice one because I was like, oh, they're not gonna be that important. It's just gonna take a second. Jack's just gonna use an ability. My dumbass. Uh, yeah, F. All right, they're getting eviscerated. I'm not gonna be nice. Yeah, that's right. This should slow up now. Did I get the other one? No, oh, fuck you. I thought I changed with a shotgun. I did not. Alright. Unity. Fuck. Shotgun, please. Why did they aim for me? <laughs> I hate this fucking open area. I'm losing my fucking brain cells. I have no idea how to approach this boss fight. Okay, I need to get at a better vantage. For these fucking things. This should slow them down. Everyone. All right, that's one. All right, guys, I need you to use your skills again. Garrus is already dead, so you know what that means. It's on Jack. Please, I'm literally... Oh, Jack, your skills can't come back fast enough, can they? Alright. I gotta get fucking hell. Unity. This isn't the boss. I hate these things. These things are harder than the boss. Done. All right. Please, Jack. Every single time that Harbinger showed up, he's There's gone in a half there. a second. But it's just like, God, these things are annoying. What the hell? Hey, okay, got power ammo. Well, can I, uh, split the save here in case it tries to throw me back to the before those things? Yes, I can. Got a metagel. Where's the objective? It's not right there. Is it that? No, I was just over there. Is it the thing in the huge middle area? Wow! Beep, 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 beep. Running on the last brain cell. Normandy, <coughs> do you copy? Joker here. Signal's weak, Commander, but we got you. Edie, can you get the colony's defense towers online? 
Errors in the calibration software are easily rectified, but it will take time to bring the towers to full power. I recommend a defensive posture. I will not be able to mask the increased generator output. Great. We play Piggy in the middle while she sorts out the batteries. We'll stop them. Easy enough. Maybe not. Enemy reinforcements closing in. I suggest you ready weapons. From which direction, though? All right, got it. Good, uh, use it. If I must tear you apart, Shepard, I will. Take cover. And the boss is gone. Is he gonna take another body or are we just done with him, I guess? Oh wait, I should not be on Alright, let's uh hit him with the AoEs. I'm getting flanked. I don't like that. Assume. Oh, is he about to assume control? control. On who? Assuming control. On who, bitch? There ain't nobody here. Oh, there he goes. I was about to say, I was like, man, you got like one and a half bodies to work with. Damn, I'm disrupted. My health bar disappeared again. Is that supposed to happen? My attacks will tear you apart. I will show you. It happened during a different boss fight, but I didn't under- like, it happened at a weird time, so I thought that it was, like, a glitch. So let's get rid of this. I'm afraid of having that shit behind me. No, you fucking don't. Sequential power up initiated. Guardian anti ship batteries at 40%. Reinforcements. It's nice to be noticed. Garrus, hit the damn pus. Thank you. We are the harbinger of your destiny. Oh, this motherfucker. Hold on. The forces Let me just. I got 100 left on this. This is my- get the fuck out of here, Harbinger weapon. Good job. Oh, I missed. Yes. Damn, I should probably kick up, uh... No way, that's it. Gotta be more soon. Well, it hit earlier after me looking like I should have taken damage, and so I was really confused. I was like, whoa, wait a second. Did I take so much damage that the health bar just decided to leave? Or did I completely avoid that shot? Because it was like a rocket to the face. Like, it should have killed me. Uh, beep. Bop. Boop. Praetorian? No, he don't. 
Ah. I love how he just. <laughs> Why was he shaking like that when I was in adrenaline rush? Why was he going boingy 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 boingy? <laughs> like what? He hit in the ground. Boys, we better run. I don't like this guy close to us. Oh, he's eyes, he's glowins. Hit him with the bang. I feel like this does more damage to the shield. Oh, damn. And I'm running to more cover. Woo! This shouldn't hurt me, right? Hey, I gotta wait to use abilities. Ooh. Oh no. That's really obnoxious. Perfect cover. He'll never suspect me here. Run! Man, me moving fast. Get the fuck out of my... Oh, Garrus. Really? Can I please get some cover? Cover, Shepard. I said cover. She didn't listen. That's not cover. I love reloading during adrenaline rush. Absolutely what it's made for. I should reload. Firing on high impact shot. I should probably move. I can kill him faster than he can kill me. That's just that's just the facts, baby. Is that it? Oh, okay, let's see in it. That's the boss? Why was he easier than the fucking <laughs> In the fucking double shockwave duo? Why was that the hard part? Get away! There's nothing we can do. They're gone. Half the colony's in there. They took Egan and Sam and, and Lilith. Do something. I didn't want it to end this way. I did what I could. More than most, Shepard. Shepard? Wait. I know that name. Sure, I remember you. You're some type of big alliance hero. Commander Shepard. Uh-oh! The first human specter. Savior of the Citadel. You're in the presence of a legend, Delan. And a ghost. Ghost derogatory. All the people we lost and you get left behind. Figures. Screw this. I'm done with you alliance types. It playing the Mass Effect 1 theme is so sad. <laughs> I thought you were dead, Shepard. We all did. Aww.
too long, Caden. How have you been? Is that all you have to say? You show up after two years and just act like nothing happened. Thought we had something, Shepard. Something real. Oh! Thinking you were dead tore me apart. How could you're you being selfish, Caden. Why didn't you try to contact me? Why didn't you let me know you were alive? Not my choice. I spent the last two years in some kind of coma while Cerberus rebuilt me. You're with Cerberus now. Garrus too. I can't Oof. believe the reports were right. Reports? You mean you already knew? Alliance Intel thought Cerberus might be behind the missing human colonies. I got a tip this colony might be the next one to get hit. Anderson stonewalled me. But there were rumors that you weren't dead. That you were working for the enemy. Our colonies are disappearing. The Alliance turned its back on them. Cerberus is the only group willing to do something about it. You can't really believe that. We both know what Cerberus is He's like, right. He is of. correct. I wanted to believe the rumors that you were alive, but I never expected anything like this. You turned your back on everything we believed in. You betrayed the Alliance. You betrayed me. This isn't about me working for Cerberus, Caden. Something far more important is at stake. You saw it yourself. The Collectors are targeting human colonies, and they're working with the Reapers. I want to believe you, Shepard, but I don't trust Cerberus. They could be using the threat of a Reaper to manipulate you. What if they're behind it? What this if is kind of cringe, not gonna lie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Caden, you're so focused <laughs> on Cerberus that you're ignoring the Mom, real threat. Dad, please stop fighting. Are you gonna get a divorce? See, you won't listen to reason. You show up after two years and tell me you're working with Cerberus. What does reason figure in it? You've changed, but I still know where my loyalties lie. I didn't press anything. The audio just cut off like that. <laughs> I've got to report back to the Citadel. They can decide if they believe your story or not. I could use someone like you in my crew, Caden. It'll be just like old times. No, it won't. I'll never work for Cerberus. Goodbye, Shepard. And be careful. Joker, send the shuttle to pick us up. Had enough of this colony. Yeah, neither of the humans from Mass Effect 1 join you, so even if we kept Ashley alive, she wouldn't have joined us. They're both just like, uh, ooh, a service? Eef. But they, they grow and learn and figure it out. Shepherd, I'd be upset too life. if like someone I loved died and then came back alive as a part of a fucking terrorist organization. I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? You know, yeah, I would I would be very upset. It's not a victory. We interrupted the collectors, but they still abducted half the colony. That's better than an entire colony, and more than we've accomplished since the abductions began. The collectors will be more careful now. But I think we can find another way to lure them in. Caden said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. Was that you? I may have let it slip that you were alive. And with Cerberus. You risked the lives of my friend, my crew, and that entire colony. Just to lure the Collectors there? A calculated risk. I want to spoil so badly. Looking for you or Spoil connected. what? I've played these now games, Core. Lamal. I wouldn't sit and wait while the Reapers and Collectors gather strength. <laughs> Besides, they would have hit another colony eventually, and without a way to predict which one. I'm just enjoying it again. Everyone. We have to make sure they don't abduct anyone else. I want the Collectors stopped for that very reason. That's why we're doing this, Shepard. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you put your past relationships behind you? None of your damn business. If it affects the mission, better you should leave it behind. Shepard, once you find a way through the Omega-4 relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. Thanks for the pep talk, but we'll be fine. I've forwarded three more dossiers. Keep building Thank the you while I find for the dossiers. The be careful, Shepard. The collectors will be watching you. Jacob? What's the matter, buddy? Let's go what's up, Jacob? I guess we're really gonna do it. Hit the Omega 4 relay. Take the fight to the collectors in person. 
Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though. Can we get Uncle? Yeah, we can get Uncle. They're powerful. We've got a few tricks. He should be available now. And then we can also get the DLC character that I've no never played there, with Commander. before, so it's going to be fun. Horizon just made it hit home. What we're doing, what we're up against. Going to go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is, too. Getting some closure, you know? Woo, love Uncle. Yeah, we love Uncle. Hey, but you know what this means? We probably have more dialogue with our companions, since that was a story mission. So, uh... I guess let's see who's willing to talk. Uh, we'll talk to Jacob. He's not so bad. Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. I always have time for my crew. What is it? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. Ooh, ooh, personal mission. But well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back, the ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. I think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. <laughs> a terrible he thing to say, Shepard. He have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help, I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Any signs that this is a Cerberus front? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well... Oh, really? I never realized that. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors. I guess I never, I like, thought, thought that skin. too hard about it. <laughs> Who knows with that bunch? I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. That's really interesting, Cor. Let's go see who we can... I don't care about the messages in my private terminal. Let's go downstairs first. We'll work our way, like, up the ranks. Is currently indoctrinated or was at some point? Would it leave a physical record? Shepard. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold oh, is too open. really? Cover. Huh. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships. Interesting. Anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture. Shepard's picture. very expensive. No help with finding the It does ensure survival. What other human info's floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarian, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. What other human infos floating Less around? Less than a finger. Oh, yeah. Turians, you have to I just selected that one. Point. Uh, never mind. A cute baby. <laughs> Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. Aww. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me strength in that. 
I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. I hate his fucking uh, football helmet chin strap. <laughs> Wait, did I put that outfit on him? I don't remember. Let's go talk to Jack. Jack, Jack. There she is. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up Jack to? Jack Angie. Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. I doubt Joker would appreciate that. At least not while we're working. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so... Uh... I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place, right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Give one shit about me. You know what Jack's name is? Bro, I don't remember half of this stuff. What'd you do when you found out? What do you think? You must have <laughs> met some good people too. I thought it was like Jacqueline. Something. And because of that, everything is I guess I assumed that though. Murder, I don't know. Assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, that just arson. seems like the most I natural know. completion, but piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Didn't you? <laughs> There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not going to change. I love her. Let's drop it, okay? Get back to whatever it is you think we can do. We love Jack. Hello, my name is Jackass, and this is Jackass. <laughs> that would be funny. Jacqueline. It is Jacqueline. Okay. That seems like the natural uh, way for, for it to go. Let's go talk to Miranda and Garrus. She's in Weren't an she office. Originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. Wow. You really dodged a bullet. Yeah, I couldn't take that. They creeped the hell out of me. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant oh, position we get a character quest. Help. Cool. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. My father was extremely wealthy. He wanted the ideal daughter, and he paid a great deal to genetically tailor me. When I learned that my father was more interested in controlling a dynasty than raising a daughter, I left. How'd your father take that? He was less than pleased. Several of his security guards were injured in the process. He knows not to come after me. But this isn't about me. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father's tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nurse Astra docking bay. Alright. Garrus, 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 Garrus. Garrus busy? Shepherd. Need me for something? Garrus busy? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? No, Garrus is busy. Talk to you later. I'll be here if you need me. Where is this? Is this an ED terminal? Oh, it is an ED terminal. We can help everyone, right? Yeah, we can do all their personal missions. 
There's not like a time limit on doing them. You just have to do them before I think a certain point. It's not a huge deal. Oh, we haven't talked to Morden a whole lot. Let's go talk to him. Yeah, it's fun. It's actually kind of necessary because uh, if you don't do them, they can die. <laughs> Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Funny yes, doctor. Like actually, talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. He's like lying is work hurting me. Genophage was more than just study. What was the special tasks group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Said, no, Krogan, actually, uh, <laughs> that's not what happened. <laughs> Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians created new version of genophage, released it on Tuchanka, other Krogan-centric areas, re-stabilized Krogan population. I'm just saying, Genophage which you did was, was wrong. On a war crime. Recreating it is unforgivable. Don't want me on team? Don't bring me. Can stay here. Work on collector research. But no apologies. Did what was right. Hope you do the same if necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time. Did what was right. Yeah, you're gonna learn Good real fast, huh? He's, he's gonna take a 150 on that. What's this area of the Edie, I didn't want to talk to you. I'm sorry. Shotgun damage? Hell yeah. Normandy's technical lab where you uh, can sniper rifle? Hell yeah. Upgrades that will improve ship or team performance. Arm piercing rounds, AP sniper rifle. Okay, armor, biotic damage. Up. Ship enhancements, med bay upgrade. Oh yeah, I don't need that. Prototypes. Heavy skin weave. Heavy bone weave. Krogan vitality, sure. Oh, reallocating points and advanced training. Okay, yeah, I think I got uh, all the stuff we have available. Lots of cool stuff. All upgrades can be developed in the Normandy's lab. Provi That's all for now. Funny doctor genocide, hee <laughs> hee. Incoming message from Admiral Stephen Hancock. Oh, cool. Take this in my Krogan's course. really just walked it off. Yeah, for real, he said, take a walk. Is this a side mission? Teehee. It is. <laughs> I was like, I don't remember this. Oh, it's DLC. I didn't have all the DLC for two, so I was like, this is weird. Yeah, I don't think I've ever played this one. I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Kenson is my friend. If the Batarians I had the DLC that came with the games, which means all of the DLC in the first game. And then uh the uh, it's, um fuck. You get one of the DLC characters for free with the special edition of the second game, which stays on the disc, it's not like a code. So you get uh Saeed Masani, Kaid Masani or whatever. You get him automatically on most copies of Mass Effect 2. And then I didn't have any other ME2 DLC. And then with three 
I had someone buy me some DLC, like, as a gift. So that was all that I played was Citadel DLC, I'm pretty sure. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and an alliance agent. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. The Batarians won't take kindly to the alliance breaking into a secret prison. This is not an alliance. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry about. The prison is hidden underground in a Batarian outpost on Aratat. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. Got it. We'll pack it out. Okay, cool. It's still slowly going through all the upgrades I applied. Damn, I have a picture of Caden the Linko here. Lama! We're gonna slam that down when we invite Garrus to the room, huh? Let's see. Uh, my whole brain stopped. We're going to the combat information center. <laughs> Sorry, the horny slipped out. I had I had to like stuff it back in. <laughs> Let's do a manual save. Let's see. We have a lot of fucking. It basically forced me into Horizon. Luckily, there's a relay here, but I guess I can scan a few things while I'm at it. Just see if there's anything real good. Moderate. I wish I could see so I could fucking <laughs> determine these levels here. Ooh, hold on. I'll take that. I don't think- do you think I need any more resources? <laughs> Do you think I have enough? Like the horny run wrapped it. No, no, we are 90% say so here. Probe away. One fifty per gets you everything. You mean one fifty K? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Luckily, I have full probes here. Probe. Since I don't have a place to purchase them. So I'll just, like, uh, clear out some of these planets. I have already purchased a lot of upgrades, though. So it's like... I wouldn't be able to tell what the remaining number would really be. I'm trying to prioritize Launching not Palladium, because it's on every fucking planet. So if I need Palladium, I can go to literally any universe and I know that it's going to be Broke there. Away. Literally any system. But like, some of these other materials are a little rarer, so I'm trying to actually ration out for those. On god, this is just a Palladium planet. Ooh, that's a good double Launching shot. Probe. It's all just probe Palladium. Launched. I guess my, my stocks were ro low since I used, like, so much of it, but... Alright, there's something over here. It's not a lot, though. I'll take it. Probe away. Okay, there's what? One more? Prospects are poor, and yet it has a, a better iridium than the other planet. Away. Element zero is definitely the most rare one. But I've been finding that in levels, so it's like, nah. Launching probe. That's probably... Oh. Oh, I was gonna say, maybe that's Launching all I can get from this planet, but that's not bad. Oh. We'll take it. We have dripped it dry. Alright, I do want to get Kasumi Goto. I've never had her before. And so I'm very curious. That's Overlord, Jacob, Omega. Oh, there's so much going on in, in this. Fuck. 
We're gonna go to the Citadel first. So I don't think we need uh, any fuel in the Citadel space, so it's like... Yeah, see, we literally just have the Citadel, and that's... There's like two little missions here, so let's do these. I don't even know what Kasumi Goto's personality is like. I have never been able to recruit her. I have no idea what she's like. I'm very excited. Oh, this is nice. Oh, pretty. I also have never had the Prothean Companion in Mass Effect 3. Also very excited to uh, to get to know him. Take Garrus, and we'll take Grunt. I don't expect us to have to do a whole lot of fighting here, but, you know, just in case. Oh, man. Oh, squad member's not loyal. Well... Looks good. Launches me into a DLC mission that I have no idea that exists or something, because it would happen. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Lamau. Is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi is Kasumi. I'm a fan. Oh boy. Javik is a fucking vibe. Yeah, I'm very excited. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. Good to have you along, Kasumi. You ready to go? I travel light. I've already slipped my things aboard your ship. Aww. <laughs> I'm really glad you're helping me out with the heist. Can't wait to see how you look in formal wear. A point of reference if you want for Jeff. I mean, I've seen some of his scenes like in videos, but like it's different to actually like they call me secretive. watch everything. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda, the best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... ...got him killed. That's what Cerberus promised you. We'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. <laughs> we should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Aww. I like her. Garrus but angry? Lama. <laughs> Very Javik. I know Javik is a bit of an asshole. Very excited. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. Wasn't there another mission we had here? Dossier, Tally, the Justicar, the Assassin, the Shadow Broker. I've also never played the Shadow Broker DLC. Very excited. Say, Price of Revenge, Stop the Collector, Citadel, Council. Oh, okay. That's what it was. What? What? what is this crap? <laughs> He's just keeping it, it real. Lamo. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. This is gonna... <laughs> Big You'll funny. make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. <laughs> yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. 
My console says you're dead. You say hi to the jackasses high up? Yeah. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your ID, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. <laughs> but I can see you're a busy woman. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The council probably wants to talk to the one who got them their jobs. I will. Having access to the council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, They don't or money reinstate us, though. I don't think they do. <laughs> anyway. I remember the council being like, mm, you died, so technically you're not a Spectre anymore. I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. Dark Star. Ooh, here's a shop. Captain's chill as fuck. Yeah. Food on Military historical novel Ascension focuses on several lives warped or destroyed by the human survivalist cult Cerberus. Sure. Revelations novel. Popular mi military historical novel by human writer Drew Carpishan that dramatizes human conflicts and political expansion following the 2148 discovery of the Prothean mass relay on Pluto and beginning of human galactic exploration. Oh, nice. You heard wrong. I wonder if there's any more stores. Oh god, there's so many. <laughs> Sakara Cafe, Serta Foundation. There's a lot of stores. Holy shit. There's at least two in this direction, I believe. Two years since the destruction of the Destiny Ascension, planning for the fleet of the new Allied Citadel Defense Unit has reached another impasse. We have already working with the Athenians shared defense responsibility to the Turian hierarchy. The Human Alliance maintains a majority share of forces. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. There's a store. Citadel. Big Citadel. Tech damage. Yeah. This is valuable. Adaptive. I don't give a shit about the visor. That's pretty good. Keeper. Here's another store. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. Metagel capacity, yep. Life support webbing. I love going places. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts me? Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious Tupari no. sports drink hit the spot right now? Fuck, where am I? Warehouse. I just looked at Sorda or Sardonis. One of them. No, Sardonis was like upstairs. Why is there so much going on? I don't think we're supposed to be going into the warehouse. There's so much here. But there is a rapid transit nearby. I don't know. Let's just take a little peek -see. Hey guys, what are you doing back here? Nothing illegal, I hope? Good, have a good day. Yeah, there's nothing back here. I just got a refund in exchange and I was told to pick up a new army joke. This cladless is a thief. And I want her arrested. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. Stole my shit. I did not. Just because I'm a quarian. I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. 
He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn shit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Ma'am, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can... <laughs> all we can to resolve this. <laughs> we don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of her officers know. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her, but she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. Oh my God! She's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. Yeah, I don't. I don't need the Volus's opinion. There. I need to figure out the fucking Serta. So this is where he dropped it. New announcement, Saber. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakara Ward. Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? And not that I saw. He didn't purchase anything. I'd like to buy something. Purchases are made oh, my through bad. our account. I couldn't help but notice your prices. Uh, didn't I already buy anything from here? The foundation you know, it would make your services more popular. An endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren. Oh my! You're Shepard, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would it's do that. Deal. Damn, I already I'll bought from here, but whatever. <laughs> I'm doing it out of the good of my heart. Good day, citizen. I'm just browsing. Come please. back soon, Shepherd. I'm Commander Shepherd, and I just—he's my baby. He's all I have left of Jacob. Good day, citizen. Did I ever ask was in here and not that long. I saw. If everything's done by catalog, why customer are you... service, returns, exchanges, and group rates. We also find that sales are better when there is someone to personally interact with. Although I'm not sure why a human company exclusively hires a sari to work their stores. <laughs> Come back soon, Shepard. I felt her hand go into my pocket. When I checked, my credit chit was... Please move along. You say she stole your credit chit? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running into you mean she stole your credit chit? That's how pickpockets work. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. Let's see if the quarry can give me any more. He runs up with C Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chit. Yeah, they've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but. A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. You know about the pilgrimage? I don't know where it is. I traveled with Quarian, who was on hers. I... Wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. Let's go. Be careful out there. I mean, I'm pretty sure a dude is just fucking Take lying. Look, look, it took me a long time to get this refund. It's a decision on the job. I'll look around she just in case, more. though. I don't remember. Man, you got all this shit memorized. Why you do that? Him on the wards market. He sent me here. Come on. Why do I need a service order? Is this something the I can interfere market. with? Why would you come to his Akara ward warehouse? You know what quarians are like. They take anything not welded to the deck. Sir, I'm gonna have <laughs> This what passes for food out here. My tastes run more along the lines of edible. Looks like worms dead ones this a human thing don't uh, say that about robin yes. grunt i'll eat almost anything but i stress almost grunt robin is delicious oh 
Oh, did I already go in this store? I don't remember. I did. Welcome to Sarin Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even yeah, a I've been getting Please, out. look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Oh, he yes. He bought some environmental system drivers Found and it. left without his chit. I didn't notice he left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Thanks. He'll be glad to hear that. Not a problem. Have a good day. You claim you didn't take... Please move along. You forgot your credit shit at Serenus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh. Well... The Quarium could have stolen it. <laughs> I'll close this event report. Yeah, that's where she stashed it. The other Get store. Get a residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it. Now, just a minute. And you. She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy. How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a former specter? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in the Turian shelter. But I'll Aww, survive. Oh, baby. Thanks. I wish we could do more for her. She is just a precious. We love Corians. I want her to do good. Are you Dark Star Paragon or Citadel Souvenirs Renegade? Or how the hell do I get out of here? Maki's sleepy already. Maki, it's only 11. If that. No reason to be sleepy. Oh, you did your Genshin Daily? Yeah, Genshin Daily, good. It's good that you got something done. Maki, work tomorrow. Oh no, Maki, go. Yeah, I freaked out when they heard former Spectre. It, it, it's basically, I outrank you. Maki did do hot yoga. Maki deserve a break. Did I go in this store? Fine, I must have. Fine, I just need to pick up some spices. Amino dextrous and amino sinister, Gavin. Yeah, okay, this is the way I came through the first time. So let's go the other way and see what's over there. Lack of core, sore. You wanna do yoga? I think Maki was doing P90X, something like that. That's a big exercise, that's a big workout. Seronis applications. Oh damn, I'm getting out of money. Spare ammo up. Oh, yes, I'm taking a new sniper. I'll get some more money somehow. B90 Extreme. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? Uh, I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players. Did I go to all of the people want to hear your story, Shepard? Oh no! Got time for the police have been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a specter. You presented your case very well on night, camera. Night. Do you have a minute? What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard. You may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. Your bath, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Oh yeah, channel point XP, yay! Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to abandon the Destiny Ascension Sacrifice. I've had enough of your disingenuous assertions. Puncher! 
Puncher! Yeah! <laughs> I wish I'd done that the first time we met. You bitch! I'll make sure Damn, I fucked her up! That. She, I said, good. Did we get it? Nice. Rank bitch. I hope I'm on the news. up here is this a club word wait quasar <laughs> dance the little dad dance shepherd it's so cute it's loud in here do they have quasar This is a bathroom. Oh my god. <laughs> Boys, get out. It's a bathroom. Me looking for Quasar running into the men's bathroom at full speed. Is this Quasar? Level 28. Looks like there's another bar down here. No, 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 this goes back down to electronics, right? I don't think I came down here yet. <gasps> Space hamster! And the fish and a bunch of models. I'll take your whole fucking stock. Okay, this is where I started. So the let's go to the transports and go to the, let's actually go what we were here to do. I think they end up all in the uh, in your bedroom, so I'll have to go run up there. How the fuck is it Presidium? How the fuck do I get back to the council? Look at the Elcor walking! Oh shit! Shepard! Welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. It's been a long time, Captain. It's Counselor now. I had to give up my commission when I joined the council. I'm glad you came. Though I was hoping the rest of the council would be here for this meeting too. Unfortunately, they rarely listen to me. Sometimes I wonder if Udina would have been the better choice for this. Nobody said this was going to be easy, but I know you. You get things done. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I doubt Udina would echo it. He thinks I need to work on my people skills. I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the council to see things from your point of view. But they refused to see you. You let the previous council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic That concerns. was a galactic the Rumors that you're working with Cirrus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? The Collectors are abducting our colonists in the Terminus systems. And I think they're working for the Reapers. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. There's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. The others have spent the past two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign Damn. as a Geth warship. Are they blind? What about Vigil, the Prothean... The VI and Ilos shut itself down. You're the only one who spoke to it. Just like you and your crew were the only ones who spoke directly to Sovereign. Officially, the existence of the Reapers has been dismissed as a myth spread by Saren to convince the Geth to Damn. follow. We both know the truth. But I've spent two years fighting that line. And I don't have much to show for it. You know the threat the Reapers represent. 
There must be something you can do. It's up to you to stop the Reaper, Shepard. All I've got is a title if you want it. I can reinstate your Spectre status. I won't win any popularity contests, but they can't really object. Your title was never officially rescinded. Yeah, boy! Besides, you're still a hero to humanity. And the Council knows the danger of discounting our opinion. I'll take whatever asset I can get, old friend. Coming from you, it's as good as the first time. Not quite the same level of ceremony. And more symbolic than useful, but it still has weight in some quarters. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Not used to seeing ghosts, Udina? I'd heard you were alive, of course, but I didn't expect to see you back on the Citadel. I hope you didn't do My anything God, foolish, Counselor. I tried to arrange a meeting with the Council. There could be serious political ramifications. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? <laughs> of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Udin is just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. <laughs> Plus, he's always happy to attend all those I fucking love these games. <laughs> How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. That's not bad for the how big it is. The always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. It's very really interesting because they've been made to repair the thing. The last couple Screw of years politics, changing. for real. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't yeah. Geth technology. Didn't they? I we skipped it too fast. To Pieces have been rained all over the station. But it was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Sure. Well, here and there. Okay. Right? But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But this we haven't so had peaceful serious and casualties nice. for months. We love Captain a Anderson. He's such a, like, a father to figure to us in the series. They're not quite the boogeyman they used to be. Caden Alenko was on Horizon. He said he was looking into Cerberus. I know. I approved Oh, he glitched. We had to find out if they were behind the missing colonists. I couldn't tell anyone without compromising the investigation. I'm sorry. I thought we were friends. Captain's chill as well, yeah. Behind my back. We didn't know about you at the time. And I wouldn't have told oh. you if I did. <laughs> Shepard Cha Cha real smooth. What if the elusive man was manipulating you? Lying to you? The report actually confirmed your story. I still don't trust Cerberus. But they were right about the collectors abducting the colonists. Unfortunately. Alenko didn't find anything to convince the Council that the Reapers are behind this. Or even that they exist. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Oh, I know. Trust me. We are aware. So we went to... I think that's really all we can do here, so let's go to the Normandy. Whoosh, 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 whoosh.
Yeah, Anderson is always a pretty good understanding character. Oh yeah, I have like no money. So, hold on a second, let me look at my options. So, Kasumi's mission is here. There's a ton of fucking missions up here in the Crescent Nebula. And then the rest are just kind of like, spread out. But our recruitment missions are gonna forward the story. So I think we wanna do, I wanna go ahead and try Kasumi's mission. It sounds really fun. And uh, we haven't really done that before. So I think it would be really cool to uh, get to know them as a character and also, oh no, how many? I only have 11 probes. Well, this is a poor planet, so we'll just leave it. I thought I dried everything that I put in there. Shit, I must have forgot to press the start button. If I did it at night, then I might have forgotten to press the start button. Damn, that sucks. I fucked up a load of laundry. I went like maybe a month. Paolo says they hope they're do you're doing well. You're trying. Probe away. I appreciate it. Yeah, he appreciates it. I absolutely Launching apparently probe. fucked up a load of laundry. I forgot to press the start button on the dryer and who knows how long it's been in there. Biggest oof. Having a uh, natural memory gap is so hard. Probe launched. It really is. That one's good, actually. Probe away. You're running in the washer first now. There's already something in the washer. That's why he was checking it. I'll deal with it later. I'll deal with it, because it'll probably have to be rewashed a few times. You put them in the basket? Okay. Launching probe. What do probes do? Okay, so you see these uh, four little, you can only really see three of them, but these, uh, put the cat piss comforter in the dryer, cool. These little green bars over here is an amount of uh, material, and that's the material that I spend on upgrades. So it's a necessary system to keep upgrading everything. Ooh, before I go to her planet, though, I'm Commander, gonna see. A new message at your private terminal. Make sure that I can upgrade anything else. But that's the currency that this terminal uses. Is the um. See, it's palladium. I actually have a lot of it, but it's very good to just do that when I go places because then I don't have to worry about collecting any materials later and we get natural level ups through it. Not level ups, but like natural scaling. Aw, I didn't realize it'd be so late for you, Core. Sleep well. Thanks for stopping by, though. Big appreciate. Scanner results depleted. I'll leave it alone, then. Hydrate? Good idea. I'll take a little sip. Thank you. You stay hydrated, too, out there. It's a terrible, terrible world out there. 
Ah. Did the repent go off? I didn't see it. I made sure that it was turned on, so it should. Hold on. Ah. Oh, well. There's a spare. <laughs> Just in case it didn't. It did go off. Okay, good. I missed it. The I couldn't get the um, the sound to be any louder. I might have to upload like a custom noise so I can actually make it loud enough because it's it's super quiet on my end. Can I not bring anybody else? That's fine. Interesting. Looking good, Miss Allison Gunn. Hawk won't be able to keep his eyes off you. I assume Allison Gunn is my cover. You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the oh, liberty wow. of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. Remind me. What kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not What so if it bad. ends up being Rich, the partner? Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. Where's the twist? Take it, I'm wearing this getup for a reason. You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend Hawk is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. This is Glass Onion. <laughs> Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make this our way This is just door, fucking glass onion. <laughs> then, Losing my fucking case mind. The security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. And then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get <laughs> you. <laughs> You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. So I'm assuming to secure her loyalty, I need to actually get the gray box, period. Because I know the this loyalty missions stop. have a objective that isn't necessarily completed by completing the mission. After you, Ms. Gunn. Hold a moment, ma'am. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem here? No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met. Donovan Hawk. I've heard a lot about you. Name's Allison. I love how they named her Gun. That's you. so fucking You've funny. Been very busy lately. That's what I named my uh believed. Sir. My renegade shepherd. I named him Gun. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? What kind of accent is that? You may pass through, Miss Gun. You were invited after all, but I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. No problem. You're the host. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. Oh! She get boip. We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. How did you ever contain that situation on the holiday? 
Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam, done. Thank goodness. I thought those rabble would dog you for years. Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. Really? Oh, please. It's wishful thinking at best. Oh, wow. What's your read on that Archangel guy? I hear he's dead. Or gone, or something. Good riddance, I say. The place is locked down tight and security too frozen. Charge no girl that like get past her. Rather stand her on board on grand duty than risk her wrath. Sorry, Samuels. Chief Ro, huh? She sounds like a hard ass. If we could tap into I hear Mr. Hawk's vault is exciting. What's that over there? I love how it fucking wrote over what she said so I couldn't hear it. We'll look around a little more. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. I probably shouldn't have come in here yet, huh? Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner. Looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please. Remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it, Keiji could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. Okay, cool. Gun. Good to see you. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donovan Hawk's home? Gun. <laughs> Damn. How long of work we attract <laughs> a certain element. Few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. My God. People these days <laughs> want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me, and you, are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us. The cleaners. The support structure This really for is the just fucking glass onions. But <laughs> there always be a market for the things we do. Good talk. Good talk. I think one of your fish is dead. I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Miss Gunn. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scanner. Can't really go upstairs at all. I feel like if we bypass that, we're immediately going to get caught. Let's go chat up this guard over here. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have clearance to go in. On whose authority? I have authorization from Chief Rowe. Okay, one second. Chief Rowe, Samuels. Uh oh. Have you given access authorization to Mr. Hawk? I see. I don't know who you think you are, but Rose says she's never heard of you. Enjoy the party. Private rooms. We need to get in. Damn. This is a real puzzle, and Core has left. I feel like this bypass will be easy, but I'll get in so much hear? fucking trouble. Santiago took over the that door goes to a security room. I'll take care of the lock. Oh, shit. 
Ready when you are. Oh shit. We're gonna get in so much fucking trouble. You can't be back here. Take him down. Oh no, <laughs> we're in so much fucking trouble. Going dark. You see that? Yeah, the the party goers aren't gonna hear this flashbang grenade. I have an idea. Let's see what you can find. So many passwords. Password for tonight is Perugia. Perugia. Got something? The password is Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. I tapped their communications. I think we can get past that private room guard. Tell him Chief Rose sent you. Okay, now we can go there. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off. I've cleared. Look, I already called in once. This Just try it again. Fine. Chief Rowe, Samuels again. These guests are back in. They have access, Samuels. They'll stop bothering me. Got it. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. Okay, you're clear to go in. Enjoy the party. Yes, ma'am. Damn, this is his private chambers. He got four bedrooms. Look for anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. <gasps> Found a sample? No, a credit shit. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. Good morning. Time to wake up. Shit. Sorry. No hair, no skin flakes. The housekeepers must be thorough. Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. We're going to need more than this for the scanner, though. Hmm. No DNA, but... Looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Cagey's gray box. Ooh. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. Clean. It's a plant. Yeah. <laughs> it's a plant. Stealing from the rich is free. The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. It's probably contaminated, though. We should find another sample. <coughs> I think we got enough. We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pad. He seems to have obsessed over this. That should do it. Let's get out of here. I don't know why. I feel like we're about to be in trouble. Nope, clean. All right. I guess we need to figure out where the power grid is. Or does she not actually need me to do that? Hawk throws a hell of a party. Yes. I'm not too pleased with the caliber of people he's invited, though. Shut it down to get to the door. Okay, how the fuck do we do that, Kasumi? It looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. Mm. 
Here we go. Just start blasting. Yeah, for real. Damn, they ran this all the way across the party. This is not how you do electrics, guys. One sec. I love how nobody fucking sees her. It's so funny. I think it's really funny that nobody gets suspicious of her like wobbling back and forth. Shepard's awkward little walk. The barrier's down. I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. Damn, that's one hell of an Omni tool. Heist, 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 heist. Crop and delete. <laughs> Resize. That made me nervous for a second how long they lingered on that shot. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're good. We make things go boom. Yeah, for real. This looks fun. Look at all the cover. Oh, there's so even a rack knife. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's creepy. I could still get money for something like this, even outside the alliance. Asari go nuts for this sort of thing. Huh. That's impressive. Not sure what it is though. <laughs> Woo! We're in the vault. I feel like its eyes are following me. Arachni Queen. I guess everything's valuable to someone. Hawk has good taste. I'll give him that. This is nice. Oddly relaxing. Wow. Imagine that thing coming at you in a dark alley. A model of the Kara. It's like a Turian Titanic, the way I hear it. We're gonna kill shit. That's a Casa Locus. No. The Casa Locus. The gun that killed two presidents. Gorgeous. It even comes with a perfect copy, too. I'm sure Hawk won't mind if we borrow these. This looks interesting. Oh, cool. How did Hawk get Lady Liberty's head? Damn you, Hawk! Oh, it was it was right next to the gun. I just wasn't looking at it. There it is. It's really funny that she like we both were talking about the gun standing there in front of the gray box, just being like, anyways. Oh no. She's gonna be downloading Don't this. Is gold door. It's cold locked. I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open, but you're still going to die screaming. <laughs> Got your attention. <laughs> <laughs> that shut up. Kill them. Kill. <laughs> 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 
Alright, Kasumi. This gun is so funny. Down you go. Looking very fleshy today, Chief Bro. There's a landing pad to the east. Let's get out of here. Joker, bring the shuttle in now. I love doing illegal things with my friends. Think we're gonna kill the bad guy? I don't know. Would that fuck up her loyalty? <gasps> that would be so terrible. I hope it doesn't. I hope we get to kill him. It seems like it would be correct, you know? Going dark. Oh, perfect. Oh no, I just took that to the face. That's fine. Take cover, Shepard. I'm pressing A on God. Please use overload. Shit. I'm pressing A. Why did you- Oh, that was close. She walked out of, uh, cover for a second. I, I guess he's Shadow Strike, I don't know. Got it. Damn. Yeah, that's not gonna hit. Flamau. Oh, she teleports. That's kind of cool. Think you're gonna kill the bad guy? I don't know. Like, it's up in the air a little bit, you know? There's a PDA up there. thought so. Dude, why was I not doing any damage? Damn. These guys are obnoxious. Oh, I didn't try the new sniper rifle. Can't do it. Oh, 
Holy shit. I didn't realize that would do what I what it apparently did and that that was the purpose thing I was supposed to do. I was just thinking, oh wow, this would be really cool if I shot this. Damn. Ooh, I'll take that. Oh, she's already using it. I was about to say, you should do that thing. Alright, both got him. Cool. Oh, shit. Well, she got him! Of hit actually. She should have said executed. Weakening their integrity. Going dark. Got him. Can't do it. You're dead. This game has auto aim, you know. Uh oh. Because of shot to the face. All right. I think we got her. Upgrade. Wait, I think we're supposed to go up that way. Unless there's something else to blow up. Keep them busy. I'll take care of this myself. Oh no. Gotcha. Heavy weapons, get down. <laughs> Care what yourself, man. You ain't even down here. Ooh, take some platinum. I'm assuming he's coming back in a second, cause. This seems like a pretty big room for only one wave of enemies, but. Oh well, I guess that was the case. Public displays of affluence. Alright, I guess this is the boss room? Is this where I make my final decision to gain her loyalty? Damn. Could have done this the easy way, Goldrum. 
Allow me to show you the hard way. Oh damn. Look left. Left at what? Oh boy. We're gonna constantly disrupt it. Go back up. That's not fair. Lay down your weapons. I need ammo. She got the other one. Good job, Kasumi. Got it? Got a clear shot. Here we go. Whoa, get it, girl. Get it. Yo. <laughs> Where did we get ammo? Oh, it's it's on the ground. Uh, it's the little red glowing things that are uh, constantly spawning uh, when um, enemies drop. There's one on that crate right there. Me. Well, I'm out of sniper ammo, but that's fine. I'll have a second to go get some once these enemies die. There we go. Look behind you. Behind me where? Behind you. Oh, right ahead. Oh, damn, they moved. Holy shit, that shouldn't have hit me. Oh, did that actually kill it? Uh, yeah. Great job, girl. 
Are we going to take her on some more missions? Uh, she won't be plot relevant in any of them, but we can. This is her mission for her, so you know, it's going to be it's going to be real real nice and but yeah, we can bring her on more missions. There's nothing stopping us. So I think we successfully got her loyalty. I don't know how you can fail getting her loyalty. I don't know how you would fail. Kasumi, if you're seeing this, it's because I'm dead. The information we found is all here. It's big, Kasumi. If the Council ever got wind of this, the Alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I, I encrypted the information to keep it safe. And I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box, so no one could get the whole package. Aww. I'm dead. And if anyone knows about this, then I've made you a target rep up. I'm so, so sorry. Keiji. I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Please. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? Is there any way we can just destroy the information? No. Keiji's a master at encrypting files. He laced the information into his memories. You can't get one without experiencing the other. So this is gonna be whether or not we get her loyalty. Fuck. I think... Fun. Yeah, I can see the title. <laughs> I think the neutral option makes sense because it's what he wants. Because it wouldn't make sense to hold on to him, but she obviously wants to hold on to him. I kind of want to look it up, um, but I also want to respect his wishes. But the thing that happens is if we don't get her loyalty, we can't bring her on final mission. It's, it's complicated. Um, but essentially, it, it means that we wouldn't be able to find, uh, bring her on final mission. Um, can't we make a save? I've already saved it. <laughs> you mean a save of the memories? Um, let me see what the loyalty says, but I'm assuming that what he wants is what you're supposed to do. Because that makes sense. But some of the other loyalty missions, you're supposed to do what the character wants and not what anybody else would want. That's the problem. This will be interesting. Combat strategy, blah, blah, blah. We're already past that part. I'm looking for the, okay, shuttle ride back. You can persuade Kasumi to keep or destroy the box with additional morality points depending on your level of tact. Oh, regardless of your decision, she will be loyal. So it actually doesn't matter what we choose here. So I'm gonna do neutral because I feel like that's you heard him, Kasumi. You know, he'd want you to destroy the information and save yourself. I know. I just. I can't. This is all that's left of him. The 
If it's easier, I could do it for you. I... Okay. Just get it over with. Please. So it seems like regardless of what you do, um, she'll be loyal. Which isn't the case in every loyalty mission. So I got a little nervous. I was like, oh no, oh no. But it actually doesn't matter. That's interesting. So now Kasumi is loyal to us. That means that we have that secret last thing on her, um, on her stuff. Jack would like to talk with you, Commander. Jack? I guess Jack is about to give us a mission. And now she has an alternate outfit as well that we got by doing her loyalty mission. So that's cool. Let's look at the upgrades terminal. I thought we found something. Yeah, okay, tech damage. Okay, looks good. And apparently Jack wants to talk to me, so I'm guessing we're about to get Jack's personal mission. That will be fun. Going down to engineering. Unfortunately, the DLC characters, I believe they don't get as much dialogue as the, uh, the main cast. So we're not going to get a lot of information even if we find Kasumi on the ship and go talk to her. Which is sad. She's a really fun character. I got thoughts like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes. I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Wait, do I have this outfit now? Like, permanently? Man? Uh? Never seen him oh. before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some super biotic. Don't we go, like, raid the, the biotic the camp? Kids. Every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them, but there's a loose end I need to deal with. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guard. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is a little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'm going to talk to the elusive man and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia, where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. I'll set a course for Pragia. I owe you, Shepard. All right, cool. Combat Information Center. It is getting super late, isn't it, huh? 
I'm having so much fun though. I should change my outfit, but I'll get there, I guess. Soft. Let's get back to the Citadel. Fuel reserves at 50%. I hope the elusive man is chill with us blowing up one of those facilities. I don't think he's gonna give a shit, gonna be honest. Alright. So, everybody's pretty far out. Except for, like, all the ones that are here. I think we should do Zaid and Firewalker. Let's just see if they're in the main system or on the side. So Firewalker and Zed are both off to the side. Damn. Um, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, actually. I will be uh, right back. And then we're gonna do Zaid's mission as well as uh whatever the the other mission is, the Firewalker mission, which I believe is DLC that I actually had. And I think it takes like not that long, honestly. So I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, so this. Yeah. <laughs> I like so much when they're taking red light. Even though they're standing up as I'm like, am I being purchased? <laughs> <laughs> Just focus on the this healing. <laughs> I have returned. Woo! You played the walkthrough game? Yeah, I played it a lot, actually. <laughs> Why do you ask? <laughs> Probe. I like the universe. Oh wow. I like the universe. I suggest like diving into the show. It's it's probably a little bit more entertaining than the game is. Probe away. It's really hard to get into. They've made it like pretty difficult to sort of like to get into it all. And you really need either a community or a subscription to really get anything done when it comes to the storyline because it's essentially made for you to have four characters to get through it. Yeah, I like the show, it's fun. I have a region locked French DVD that uh, doesn't play. That's the entire like first three seasons and the OVAs. It's enjoyable. It is a little, I mean, it was made for Tofu 1, so it's like childish, of course. 
But it's a really enjoyable story if you can get into it. I really, really enjoy it. I have... Not only do I have a region locked French DVD that I cannot actually use, I also donated way too much to their Kickstarter for season four. Yes, okay, so, okay, listen, listen. Okay, so, um... So there's season one and there's season two. And then before you go to season three, there are three 45 minute OVAs that should also be on Netflix. So it goes season one, season two, OVAs, season three. And then um, there's also a short movie and a few short stories that aren't available most places that you would have to like find on like a mega download site. Um, there's a character short made before the series called uh, Gultard Le Barbare. I mean, it's Gultard Le Barbar? I don't know. It's Gultard the Barbarian. And uh, it's a little fucked up uh, and it's a little silly and it's got some jokes that are super inappropriate, but it was an animation they made that wasn't like for TV or anything, but it's also one of the characters' backstory that's in the series. And then there's a special episode that for some reason isn't... <laughs> Why do I know all this by name? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> so then there's a special episode that isn't on Netflix for some reason, but is counted in most DVD copies as the special OVA episode at the end of the first season, which is the story of Knox. I believe it's called... Um... Actually, I'm not sure what it is. It's Knox a Million the Clockmaker. And it's basically the villain of the first season's backstory. And it's done in a different style, and it's actually really interesting animation, and I really enjoy it. Yeah, I love... I'm also not a huge fan of the dub they did because what they did is they like funded it on Kickstarter and hired like these random fucking English voice actors and they mispronounced so many things and it's like it's a league of its own because it's really silly. Um, original French is always going to be the t you know the top tier. Original language for everything is always going to be the best. Um, but. Uh, calling him Dally is like only English translation because they couldn't figure out how to like shorten his name correctly. Yeah, uh, Noximillion the Clockmaker. You should probably be able to find it on like Vimeo or whatever. It's really good. So, um, in, in the English translation, his name is Sadly Grove. Oh yeah, I love Knox. Um, in the English translation, uh, first of all, is called Sadly Grove, and in the French, his name is Tristepin. So they call him Pompon, you know, Pin Pin, essentially, in French, which is a lot cuter. And they're like, Dally <laughs> in the English. And it's so bad. It's so cringe. <laughs> but we love it. So yeah, um, they're funding the, they funded the fourth season via Kickstarter. Well, they funded part of it. What they did is they took the funds and they took the Kickstarter and basically went to TV France and said, hey, people want to watch our show. You should fund the rest of it. It's in your best interest. And TV France said, mm, okay, I can do that. So uh, they're getting a fourth season and Tot on Twitter, Anthony Rowe, he posts um, single shots of the show every now and then of you know just parts from season four so we've gotten to see um a small preview from one of the special yeah we got no okay so uh grugalorgron is that dragon that you're talking about he's getting to appear again in one of the specials in season four and i'm really excited because they made him hot <laughs> it's so good but uh that clip was actually posted on Anth hold on Hold on, just hold on, just a second. Hold on, I'll show you. I'll I'll show you actually. So um, I'll show you. It looks really good. Uh, some of the shots that Tot has posted. <laughs> oh, come on, maybe if I search Tot on comment, it will show up faster. 
Yeah. So you go to uh, Tots Twitter, and you just go to the media tab. This is one. This is a new shot that they posted of a previous season four. And this is one they posted. I think that's an old one. This is one they posted. Looks really good. Yeah, I love the... the uh, this is one they posted. I cannot wait. This right here. Here you go. Here's Grugal Orgron. That's the dragon you remember having a fight with Nox. It looks like he's going to do some more fighting, which I'm very excited for because he's a very talented fighter. And then here's another one right here. Very hype. I think that was it. Oh, no, there's this one as well. He's no longer crusty? Lamau, it's a flashback. Though he would have been... No, he was reborn. I was going to say, like, he would have been reborn. No, he actually was reborn. So, um... It's a spoiler, technically. But Grugalorgon can, can come back from the dead, kind of. So he was not your favorite season? That's fine. I do like, though, that they overhauled the English voice cast. So the English version of season three is actually way better than the English version of any other season that they've had. They did a really good job in the overhaul. And they ended up with some pretty, uh, like a pretty good dub of season three. I'm just excited to finally get like the end of the story, you know, because they kind of did leave on a cliffhanger at the end of season three. I never know like how much someone knows when they bring something up so like I'm just tempted to just dump everything that I know about something and then just like if they know it they'll be like please stop and I was like oh I'll be like yeah okay where am I missing a planet oh it's it's the one right here uh, duh I can't even scan this planet I think the animation in 3, the overall sound quality, the voice acting quality, it was a real improvement from the other seasons. Though I really am just like, I love the story of a lot of them. I don't know, you know. It's, it's, you know, it's, you know. Do we want to bring Kasumi? Wait, it's Zaid's mission, so we have to bring Zaid. What is his, what are his stats? He's an assault and sniper rifle person, so we want to bring a biotic. Let's bring Jack again. It'll be fine. Ooh, actually, hold on. Do combat mastery. Yeah, boy. Alright, subject zero points. to find that it was a long three episode finale as soon as fight was over just said bye <laughs> yeah it definitely uh did not feel the best going into it but it was it was fun i definitely um enjoy all the seasons just because i'm a shameless very shameless fan. But yeah, like I said, the game is like impossible to get into. Animated series, pretty hype. Very excited for uh, season four. It'll probably be another few years. But I have the box. I have the box full of like cool things that I got. So I have like a little uh, Tristapin plush and I have like a, a little producer hat and like a patch and. My on my computer desk, I actually have the map of the world of twelve. It was a. Um, Stay tight and look out for ambushes. It came with the, all the stuff that I ordered, and I got some figurines too. I was very happy about those. I basically dipped into savings for it, but I was like, you know what? It's something that I really, really like, and I can justify the purchase because I know I'm not going to get this chance again, and I'm, 
I'm willing to deal with the consequences if I spend too much. Yeah, I think one of the problems is like, they're not just naturally letting the characters necessarily go where they need to go, but also they're kind of building the way for their Waven era, which is their new game, and I think that that's one of the things that complicates things by having them involved with one another, is that you kind of have this conflict of interest of where you want your characters to go, but also what do you want to happen to them. So... It's a little bit of a, uh, a back and forth. Damn, I can't see. I don't think I can fire through those plants. This sniper's a little odd, but I kind of like it. Who is your favorite character of all time in the Wakfu franchise? That's my question for you, Hollow. Who's your favorite of everyone? Because that's that's an interesting question, I think. Who am I fucking taking damage from? Oh my god, they're on every side. And there's a flamethrower. Fuck you. Alright. I'll get my bag over here. Uh. This will put us down. Doesn't really feel like a sniper though, that's the part that isn't as fun. Oh damn, my heavy ammo didn't refill before we got anywhere? That seems weird. Well, I hope I don't need it. I have a few. I'm I'm a huge fan of a lot of characters. I, I have a hard time picking oftentimes because I like a lot of them. <laughs> I'm a little I'm just a little bit silly. I definitely am a huge fan of uh, Gultard the Barbarian. He's he's pretty good. Really, big fan of Ruby. Ruby's pretty cool. Vito, sounds like he hasn't changed. I get the feeling you have a past with this Vito. I knew he was. It's a uh, uh, what's the word? Oh, you're valid. The sun's only got mean after he staged his little coup. I'm a big fan of. Uh, Sons. Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books. I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Gotta have terrorists, I said. Twenty years is a long time. I was about to say something, but I got distracted by Zaid. Vito turned my men against me. He played six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. 20 years I've seen that bastard every time I close my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I heard He's got PTSD Don't hard. You call that a goddamn grudge. We better get moving. I was going to say uh, IOPS as a whole I'm a huge fan of. I don't know what it is about them. They're just really cute to me. I think they're adorable. They're, they're like idiot paladins, and that's just like, that's just so fun. Paladins, they're, it's, it's a whole group of himbos. And being a himbo is their whole religion. I, that's just like, highest tier to me. That's so good. I think, um... I'm also very partial to the croc, because it was the first... Oh, who's this? Vito. Zero. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are again. Burn you 
son of this a looks like someone from my DMV party. Like what they actually look like. <laughs> um. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. I was gonna say something else, but my brain stopped working because I was watching the Zayed Masani scene. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> um we are here to free these people. Why the hell would you blow up the refinery? I came here to kill Vito Santiago. If you want my help on your mission, you better make damn sure that man dies today. This isn't the time. We'll discuss this later. Once Vito's dead, we can discuss anything you want. Oh yeah, the cross. I was gonna say, I really love the cross. It was the first class I played as, and also I just love Evangeline for no fucking reason. So, the craw have a very special place in my heart. Very, very special place. Oh, that's a quick button to switch my gun. What do you know? Ooh! I made him loyal last time. But this is a Paragon Shepherd. Why would I leave a, a factory full of puppies to explode just for this asshole? You know? But we don't need his loyalty because uh, there's something you can, there's a task you can give him. As long as everyone else is loyal, we should be able to figure it out. Because you can uh, make an unloyal character escort somebody back and they survive that way. Or we can just not give a fuck because Zaid is not in any of the other games. And though he's alright, you know, he's, he's not a fave. Like, everybody else, I'd say, if I had to prioritize anybody over him, it'd probably be all the characters. <laughs> Kasumi now is very cute, and we love her. all die anyway. <laughs> you chose to be a mask? Oh, masks are cool. I played before masks were introduced and then I didn't want to learn their class. <laughs> They added more classes. Yeah, they always do. They added uh, Oganak, but I don't. I'm not sure how to say it. It's like Wigana. It's like O U. I'll take it. Some stuff. Gina. I call them Oganaks because I think that's easier to say. But you know. Oh, I got a flamethrower. Holy shit. Hell yeah.
I'm assuming this is the way we're going. Sniper rifle. Oh, cool. That'll help right now. Um, they might add uh, Lancers, uh, which are based on a new animated series that they're making that is not related to Wakfu. But I think that might have just been a rumor. I'm not sure. added Hopper Mages at one point uh, after the Dofus movie came out, which if you haven't seen it, I'd say it's worth at least one watch, and I think you might enjoy it. This'll put him down! <laughs> Is that what we were supposed to do? Damn. And I don't have the weapon for it. This is gonna be fun. Hopper Mage class came from was the Dofus movie. It's really well done. It's like the animation is really good. It's like the level they had in Season 3, but it's a different story that takes place in a different era. And if you remember uh, Joris from Malkfu Season 2, it's it's him when he's a kid. He's like 300 something years old, so it's like earlier in that same decade where uh, he has a little adventure. And it's 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 pretty good. They didn't make enough to make any more movies after that, but the one by itself isn't bad, and it's pretty good standalone. But I will warn you, there is definitely a s there's some nudity. Uh. We got away. Who would have thought that would happen? You just cost me 20 years of my life. Ah, son of a bitch. Ah. That's karma. Zaid, you all right? The hell do you care? I'm fine. Now come on, get me out of this shit hole. You put your revenge ahead of the mission. How can I trust that you'll be there when we need you? I'll do what I was gonna have paid to do, Shepard. Just don't expect any more than that. Now stop screwing around. Let's go. You 
Put your own goals <laughs> Don't worry, we're adults. I know, but it's, it's after credits. This long my arm it's it, it's just, no, it's just good to mention it, you know, just in case. But drunk Bakara is really fucking funny though. She's pretty good. There's no way we can do this unless we're all working together. You, you have a point. I'm not done with Zito, but I can put that behind me long enough to get your mission done. Let's get the hell out of here. It was just titties. Oh, hello, <laughs> That's the worst time for you to show up. Uh, <laughs> hello, Garlic. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, like, woman of culture. <laughs> Look, the car is very smashable. I'm just gonna. <laughs> She's so cute, and her little fake mouse ears, very adorable. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Have you seen the Bakara that I'm talking about? Do you know who I'm talking? About? I don't know if Commander, you know who I'm talking Morden about. To see oh, did I get a personal mission from Morden? From the game of subject? From this game? No, sir. Um, I'll, I'll show you what Bakara looks like. <laughs> Hold on. Um, I hope I don't get in trouble, but I know that the company would never see uh, me sharing this on here and would never know and never be able to find me, so. Sisal Dofacera. <coughs> this is very illegal. Don't tell anybody that I showed you that I have this entire movie on my on my hard drive. Uh, let me find Bakara. I want to find uh, Drunk Bakara. Dofus yeah. <laughs> drunk Bakara is a really good scene and I just I wanna find drunk Bakara. Hold on. <laughs> you love this film? Yeah, that's the Bakara I'm talking about. <laughs> How far is drunk Bakara? No no you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Bakara is queen. Yes, we love Bakara. Where the hell is she drunk? That's not it. I think it's after this. Here we go. <laughs> it's in French. Uh, just uh, don't mind that. Bonjour, ma petite pipi. Je t'ai jamais vue aussi active. Bonjour, Louis. T'es dans un sale état, mon pauvre vieux. Ah. I'm getting back to Mass Effect, I promise. <laughs> Anyone who just jumped in here, I'm just showing, I'm just showing drunk Bakara real quick. There we go. There she is. <laughs> Look at her go. <laughs> Beauty and Grace. Yeah, we love her. She said, yeah, okay. Um, I'm just going to throw that in the basement. <laughs> I don't think they got enough funding for uh, a book two because they um, they didn't they had a very limited theatrical release and so they would probably have to crowdfund to get any sort of a sequel, which it's sad and it happens. Can I scan this planet now? Nope, it is unscannable. Like, it's not surprising, because, like, 
I feel like if if they had a little bit more of a better release, then it wouldn't have been as bad. But at the same time, because the movie does have nudity in it, and just has some kind of awkward themes in some places, I can imagine how it would have been difficult for them to have a... Yeah, yeah, Con Carcass's dick is just out. <laughs> I can see how it would be pretty difficult for them to have like an extended theatrical release in anywhere that is not France. Well, yeah, <laughs> the cinematic film. <laughs> so I'm a little sad because that means that like, if we don't get more movies, we don't really get to see Con Carcass's development. You can see it a little bit in the game, but you have to actually be able to play to a certain point, and that's nigh impossible to do unless you have a subscription or a dedicated party who's playing with you, or if you're running four accounts at once, which is possible. Jarvis, yeah. I think there's a lot of characters that we don't get to see quite as much as we should. And they actually, um... You didn't even know the movie existed. Yeah, like I'm saying, like it didn't get a whole lot of um At least he's an adult in the walkthrough movies. Yeah. You would not believe the amount of people that are fucking horny for Joris. I do not get it. We gotta do a watch along. I feel I would feel so weird. We could totally do like maybe like a group of friends, maybe. I'd be afraid to put it on um It'd be weird because there's a lot of things on there that I think we're not allowed to show on Twitch. <laughs> we might be able to do like a group of people in like Discord and do a watch along because I, I do have it on my computer. I have a lot of things on my computer. Discord watch along. Yeah, maybe we could have like a community day or something like that that we can plan. Probe launched. You also have it on Steam? But I have everything, everything. I have Noximillion the Clockmaker. I have Goldtard La Barbara. I have uh, all the uh, Launching probe. all the episodes of season three with subtitles in natural French. I have. Uh, Launching probe. I, have, I even have a series called Wakfu Chibi that is not on. Doofus and Wakfu. Uh, Dofus does have its own cartoon that came out after the Washu series called The Treasures of Caribim. And it's pretty good. It's character driven. It's mostly about Caribim. Carib. And, um. It's pretty good, I'd say. Oh no, did I use all my probes? I wasn't paying attention. That's fine. Um. I hope I don't need the scanner to go planet side. Oh shit. That would be so sad. Please just let me go planet side. Anomaly detected. Fuck! Wait, I have one probe. Okay, okay, okay. There it is. Launching I was about probe. to scream. Treasures of Caribbean is good. Um, it's a little bit more... Uh, it doesn't have like a bigger overarching story as much as Wakfu does. But the episodes are pretty short. Um, it's really easy to get through. And it does ha deal with some really interesting themes. Like, really interesting. Like, there are some episodes that I had skipped over because I, you know, I didn't, um, I didn't put that much interest into it. I got about halfway through it and I was like, ah, maybe I'll get back to it later and they never did. And then um, I'm in a community server for Wakfu and Dofus, an international community server. And um, they were they have a few watch along nights. I haven't been able to go to, to quite a few um, just because of my schedule and a lot of them live in Europe. I don't think the ship is safe. We run into the gap far too often. And uh, I watched a few episodes that I hadn't the seen before that were later in the probably. season, and they I definitely deal with some there. really interesting themes. So, like, for example, they have an episode where Carib is dealing with a gambling addiction, and it's, like, actually a really, really serious episode, and it's kind of heartbreaking, and it's really well dealt with. 
but also in a way that like children can understand and it was just really well done and I was like wow oh my god like I never got that far in in Treasures of Carabim to see that episode and so I, I almost missed out on it I was actually amazed because uh, you know some of the episodes can be kind of hit or miss with certain series Where the fuck am I supposed to go? I'm going to stay at the next site with Dr. Aloy. I think we'll be safer there. I literally just went in a circle and I didn't see where I was supposed to go. I'm a little confused. I got this confused, I think, with a different mission, though I'm pretty sure this is a DLC mission. Oh, there it is. But yeah, that's uh, that's me ranting about it for a little bit. You don't understand, I'm actually crazy. I wish, I wish I would have known about the Kickstarter. I almost bought a secondhand DVD from their original first Kickstarter where they did it in English, but it only had it in English on that Blu-ray slash DVD and I did not Primary ever want to watch online. it in English. Here's the jumping game. This is the one I thought it was. For some reason, I was convinced that this mission was a Mass Effect 1. I wish you could have this in front of the Mako, instead of the Mako, don't you? Because the Mako is so bad to drive, but this thing is nice. I wish you could take it on more planets. But I guess you don't really do much Mako driving at all in Mass Effect 2, so... something down here. Whee! This whole mission is just jumping around and finding these things to click on, so... Oh boy. Oh, oh god, I am absolutely making this thing glitch out. <laughs> That's it, that's the entire Mission Firewalker mission. Completed. That's literally it. That's DLC, baby! That one comes with most special edition copies of Mass Effect 2, but it's DLC! I feel like they could have given us more to do, or just put some filler in there, I don't know, but... Prime DLC mission. Alright, we've basically cleared out this entire star system unless we end up getting like a loyalty mission here. But we should be good to get out of here. And then, um... Who do we want to go help next? It's almost... It's getting pretty late here, but you know. I ain't mad about it.
fuel up. You going bitch? Oh, okay. Good night. I understand though. I'm not mad. I want everybody to have good sleep tonight. And honestly, I am probably keeping myself way too awake too. No, I'm not mad. Taka's lying. Taka, shut up. <laughs> sleep well. No, Taka, shut up. Taka evil. Taka's so evil. Oh, there's another firewalker. Okay, I guess we can go there later. Um, Jacob, Jack. I think we should go to the Crescent Nebula because there's a lot of things to do there. No, don't be sad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Me playing every inch of Mass Effect 2 when I said I was just going to do the essentials. What missions are just here in the in the default? No, get up! I'm sorry! These are all on Ilium? Hmm. Is there another that's like outside the main? Or is Ilium all just one section? Oh. It's all in just this one section. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah, good night. Sleep well. I'm gonna go scan some planets. short on materials. I don't know if I should continue even like doing this to these poor planets. Launching probe. Me, why am I so strapped for cash? Me, who bought everything on the Citadel. Probe away. Probe launched. I'm gonna go say hi to all the planets and launch one probe each, at least. Oh, oh, oh. Not that material, though. I don't need it. I guess I do have the lowest of that material now that I've been avoiding it, so maybe I should throw a few in. Aside from, like, element zero, I have, like, but at least this is like a rich planet, so I'm not wasting probes for like a mediocre amount of it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Probe away. Nice. That's good enough. One more planet. I think this is the last one besides like the main planet we need to go to I feel like we can do better maybe not there we go lovely God, it's got everything. This planet has everything. Element zero, iridium, platinum, palladium, palladium. <laughs> it ain't broke. 
Is there? Wait. Yeah, that's the relay. And this one you can't scan, so it looks like uh, that's gonna be the one I go to. I wish this wasn't my casual wear now. I'm gonna have to go change it, but I keep forgetting to. I'm so focused on the mission. We're gonna. We're gonna try and help Miranda. I want to secure her loyalty. Um, I'm not sure where it's going to throw me, though. Okay. This will be fine. No, I still have the wrong sniper rifle. It's okay. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's, okay. it's, fine. it's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. I'll live, probably. Oh, I shouldn't have brought the flamethrower either. But now I just feel like a dumb person. I didn't even like. I was like, uh, I don't need to fix my loadout. Biggest silly imaginable. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure wow. to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? I can only the guess. The order came from Liar to oh, whoa? Who paid all fees on your behalf. Oh, whoa? She oh, also whoa? asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. I don't need to know anymore. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city. Customs records indicated just Okay, a can I fucking is visiting this port, Shepherd? Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. What I would love is a loadout. Fucking alteration. Also, I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Okay, so we're, you, we're 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 going to do uh her mission first. We're going to go to Lantea. Lintaya and Eternity. No, you don't understand. Oh. I lost it somewhere near the track. side mission. Pardon me, I'm on a call. No, oh, nothing. Isn't this where you can hear like a Solarian having like the lifespan talk with one of their kids or something? Holy crap, Shepard! I thought you were dead. Oh my God, Gianna Parasini! I remember her. Shepard, the news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably She was from Novaria. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. <laughs> I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. I remember. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the Analeas, one mistake Analeas. Novaria won't tolerate. He got Analeas. caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white-collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. Oh, cool. Getting the payoff for those uh, Mass Effect 1 what brings actions. You, to you know, that you can talk about. I'm working on a top secret project, mostly putting together a team and doing research right now. Sounds vague. No offense. Very taken. vague. I've been undercover enough to know how it goes. We should just tell her literally everything. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. And huh. don't forget to drink your beer. Uh oh. Sorry, merchant smuggling schematics from Noveria. Can you talk her into showing you good stuff? Huh. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? You're Commander Shepard? I saw your... Oh my I god. I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. What message were you asked to give? Shepard, we have... Oh! We it's the Rachne Queen! Hello, Rachne Queen! <laughs> but we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. And our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. 
Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my oh, life. Oh wow, that's nice. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. Aww. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. You obviously got off world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the keepers on the Citadel in a way. Aww. All working together, each with a purpose. That's not good. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices That's right. of the people. That's right. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. Collectors? She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni War? I can't say for sure, but she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend on Novaria is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. So that Are wasn't the person we were perhaps? looking for. Why not? Pardon me, I'm on a call. But it's interesting that that kind of led us to go talk to her. Oh, there's a merchant. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. Is everything here so expensive? I'd planned to drop a lot of credits today. Really? Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount. And when I get special items in, you can take a look. I'll have a look around. Oh, it's Cerise. Biotic damage bonus. Power pack. Some of this is just armor upgrades, meta gel capacity, omni tool upgrade. Ooh. This might be useful. I don't know if we can we can't afford both of these. I'll do this one. That's not the Asari I was looking for either. Who the hell was she talking about? There we go. Run away, you bastards. Give up your colony plans. That's disgusting. It's not her. Money off people's fear. Yes, I am. By the shipload. Where if your stock just fell like it was in a high gravity fire. <laughs> I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Has announced plans to sue the Citadel Council. The Batarians claim that slavery is and that by limiting the I'm gonna have that asshole arrested. Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. Is there anything I can do? Oh no. That crap might fly on Omega, but this is Ilium. I'm hooking up security cams now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. Okay. Bachelor party? <laughs> I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. This is really My funny. My family simply negotiated these guys. a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. I don't understand. Humans celebrate wedding contracts by tempting infidelity? That makes no sense. Calm down, man. Don't embarrass me in front of the stripper. Don't embarrass what, me in front of the stripper. Do Turians do this too? I'm just here for the drinks. You said that bachelor parties <laughs> are for very close friends. We're just co-workers. We've been co-workers for five years, though. Aren't Solarian years like dog years? 
Okay, now that's offensive. <laughs> Oh no! I'm a man on the edge! I got nothing! So then... mm. oh, we gotta talk to Carmen Burner. You're really holding out yep. on me? I'm... I'm a man on the edge! You wanna see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from Commander Shepard? Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Burner. We met on the Citadel. I wanted to become a specter. <laughs> the uh, look. And then you shoved a gun in my face. You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. <sighs> I'm just gonna hit him. Oh, I remember this lady. I love her. Better armor. That really hurts. Anyway, get angry if you want, but somebody had to do something. You were dead. I stepped up. I don't have time for this, Werner. Get out of here and stop causing trouble. Oh, so that's how it is? Nobody can get the job done but you? You just wait, Shepard. I'll show you. I'll show you. A little dumbass. <laughs> I love this bartender. Thanks for taking care of that crazy. I think guy. she's actually um, having to beat him to death with his own spine. She's somebody's mother. That makes the other customers nervous. But um, anyway, this it never Trinity, gets mentioned. It's like Athena, mentioned in side stuff. bartender. Get you anything? Just looking around. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Well, that's done. You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. Oh, Don't yeah. Do Don't let some human spoil you. <laughs> Isn't this that guy trying to hit on her, but they're friends, and she's like... She could get sick. She's vulnerable. I wonder what she looks like under the helmet. You'll find someone out there who cares about you for who you are. Someone whose food you can eat, even. They're so cute. There she is. Lente. Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but no, the animations of went off. Ket is your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries. He suggested that the Mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Ariana's family to the terminal instead. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lentea will follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I doubt Eclipse will send all their people just to stop you. Do you want to give Niket any backup? Niket can take care of himself. Besides, any armed backup just draws attention to him. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Yeah, boy! I think after this we'll probably like go to bed. <laughs> okay, I need to put the other sniper and put the singularity projector. Collect your particle beam. Yep, there it is. Okay. Damn it! 
Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Damn. You throw any Eclipse mercs for this shit? What those gunships do, though? Put us down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. Nope. Hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! I got this. Uh oh, Since big gunship. Yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Damn. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. Wait, Miranda, you said she was your twin sister. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking they for more than a decade. They are twins. They're, it's complicated, you know. Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birthday. You took a baby from the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, but you're not getting away with it. It's, uh, they're, uh, what's the word? Test tube twins. Should we be talking to Captain Inyala about this? You don't want to talk to the captain. She's not as polite as I am. She's the best commando I've ever seen. I've seen her tear people in half with her biotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell in your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things- Holy shit, Shepard! I thought you were just gonna shoot the crate, not break his neck! <laughs> yeah, my reaction too! <laughs> he said, ah! Heads up! Alright, make sure- yeah, I was gonna say, make sure Garrus is on the correct weapon, cause uh... We're not doing this without sniper support. Miranda, what the fuck are you doing?! Girl, get down! Hold on, I'm coming up there too. No, let me up, Miranda! Come on, Garrus! We're on the crate! Fuck it. Let's go. Come on, we need to get to the cat. Reload. Pop. Reload. Oh, I missed. The shaky cam is really doing it for me. Just take it, bud. Damn, that's crazy. Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. So I just she stole her. to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. If Eclipse knows where Oriana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. 
uh, fun fact for those of you who don't know, if you haven't played the Dragon Age series, um, Oriana is the name of a character in Dragon Age as well, in Dragon Age Origins, which came out before Mass Effect franchise started. Just a fun fact. I believe she's your sister if you play as a noble, I think? I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Oh, no. Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understands what my father is really like. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. Let's go find Niket and Oriana. Right. They're on the far side of the conveyor line. Time your shots. Enemies in front! Can I even... <clears throat> Get that thing to collapse? I don't know. Seems like it should be a thing I can do, but I didn't see a... Uh... Oh, can I hit those? I don't know. Anyways. I'm having trouble aiming. Particle beam. Gotcha. Damn. You got some shot, Fred. Auto aim in Mass Effect. I didn't see anything to loot. I guess this medicine box is all there is. Can oh, use there this. we go. Some machine gun. People bump. Oh. Beep. Oh, I didn't kill it. How are you shooting? Oh, it's not shooting. It's just walking towards me. Interesting. I don't get one of them. God, I'm missing like everything. Why did it auto aim at his ankles, my man? What the fuck is going on with it? I guess he's like too close. Who are you aiming at? I love how it keeps making my fucking jump. Just jump. Just jump. God, let's go. Uh, I made a mistake. I wasn't ready to go. Alright, guys. Hit him with a hit him with a whoop. And hit him with a whoop. Hit him with a whoop. Damn, every time he's going to Hold on, come back. There we go. Hostile combat drone! Where? Uh, it's the only thing left. Get out of here. I'll take it. Hee hee. Beep beep. Beep 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 Got it. Got him, bitch. Oh, that wasn't like a thing I was supposed to be doing. Where am I going? This way? Hostiles ah! in the head! Taking fire. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm fine. Girl, shut your fucking mouth. Damn it, I'm not letting her get Oriana. Whoop. Then use your abilities. Do I have ammo again? Beep. <clears throat> oh, I was gonna shoot his shoulder, Miranda. I got guys. <laughs> okay, that, that was pretty good. Hey, where are the enemies? People! Enemies in front! Where? <laughs> Garrus, why... Taking the whole ass rocket to his face? We know. Stop auto aiming. I'm trying to get that guy. <clears throat> Beat you out. Take it. Take it. Here, we need some, uh. We need to use some abilities. Hit him with the chunky stuff. Concussive shot ready. Woo! One left. And I'm just gonna throw. I wonder if this will even make it. Nope. It goes in the pits. He just took a shot for him. Hey, how about... Fuck you. Show them what it clips can do. We go. Show them what it clips can do. Oh my god. Up ahead. Oh my god. We let's, can let's just cross. One. Combat drone, watch out. Uh oh. <laughs> oh wow, I'm in like the direct line of like two guys. This is not cover, Shepard. You know what? Actually, I can. This would be really funny, promise. If I can get over there. Yeah, I'm just gonna make a run for it. Oh! I don't know if I can run fast enough. Hit him with a- When did you guys die? Why are there so many drones? He shouldn't die. Now I need ammo. For my sniper. Is that another containment unit? Okay. Oh shit. I gotta wait for the next one. Oh yeah. I'm staying up way too late, man. I got a DM tomorrow. I did all my notes though. I'm, I was being good. I have all my notes ready. I have a map that I haven't finished making. But that's okay because it's uh... I at least have like the idea of the layout and I could probably throw some quick colors on it. But I haven't set it up in Roll20. That's the only real faux pas. Combat drones are annoying. Nice shot. I'll tear you apart. Whoop. I'll tear you apart. Oh, you missed. Haha. -ha. Eclipse forever. Get her ass! Did I take damage? The 
Y'all good? It's the long con, Oriana. It's the long con. He's paying him double. Maybe the captain knows we're listening in, and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why would this thing go any faster? won't know anything until we find the cat. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Frozen targets take more damage. Oh, wow, great. I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time to cat. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Mary. This should be fun. <laughs> the dock worker's like, I ain't doing this shit. Oh, come on. Niket, you sold me. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why the screen Why, jump? Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. Oh. If I'd known that you'd stolen a baby. I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. Man. Whether or not you agree with Miranda, Oriana has been with her family for years now. Her father can still give her a better life. You don't know what my father wants for her. I know that I've been poor, Mary. I didn't much care for it. He wants to take a girl away from the only family she's ever known. Doesn't that tell you what he really is? Shouldn't you already know, Niket? If you're working for Miranda's father, that means he knows about Oriana. We need to find a new solution. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Mary, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. Miranda, wait. You don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Oh, I'll tell him that you hit her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Niket. Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. She's a... Ah! <laughs> You'll die for that, bitch! Ready Either way, we have a boss battle. It's just not with Niket included. Damn, I should have hit that first, huh? Got hostile drone. Damn. Get ready, um, guys? What the fuck are you doing back there? Oh, the boss is back. You guys. Okay, hold on. Just a second. I love this rifle. Guys, come back here, please. Going to cover. Is this the boss or just a different Asari commando? No, that's the boss. They were just sitting there taking fire from the boss. This is hilarious. I love the AI in this game. Why is she in? She's hiding right in front of me. Idiot. Stinky. Cooper. In the leg. I love the guy. He's just fucking sprawled out on the grave. 
right? There could be more Face down, ass up. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely. <laughs> Where are we going? Is it the big obvious elevator with the door open? Is that where we're going? There's like nothing else to loot, so I assume. Here? No, this is where we entered from. We're going to the other side. Yeah, the big glowing door with the green button on it. Ooh, there are things to get here. Oh, we found somebody's side quest. I can't believe Nikit sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human just like the rest of Aww. us. But I let it get personal and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch. You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. It's her hand is going like through my her gun. father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever Classic gave me. Classic narcissistic parent. Except Niket. Weakness on my part? You still have Oriana. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her. But yes, you're right. I still have something. Can Mr. Richman not just you. afford to DNA bangle, put together a, you know, just just DNA birth another baby? Can he not afford a third one? Was that like the the limit at the at the at the no test tube clip. baby clinic? It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details, but would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. This mission is what makes me like Miranda. And I guess for a long time I re didn't really grasp why this mission makes me like Miranda so much, but it's complicated. It's real complicated. And then we're back here at Eternity. If you're hurting for things to do, maybe after work we could catch a bit of sleep. I love overhearing the Tyrion desperately trying to flirt with his quarry and friend, and she's just like not even noticing. It's so cute. I need minimal heat in Greece. And I wonder who this necklace belongs to. But also, I couldn't fucking figure out. You should try it my way. Bet this is her necklace. Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. Were you trying to get them to help you find this locket? Oh, Steve, thank you. Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. Hell yeah. 50 experience. I love being paid in 50 experience. 25. Sell at 25. No, no, no. You're not doing Where's the one lady that our Novaria agent was trying to avoid or listen in on? Because I can't figure that out. Listen, I know 
the baby is surviving to the Ferocia family. The Sabatantius didn't give us time to pack. Oh, yeah, I got out at all, so mercenaries were starting to shoot. Sorry, I'm dizzy right now. Serena? Serena? Oh, I like their outfits. Their little jumpsuits. Ooh, a sorry girl's flirting. I know I said that I would like, would like to offer a clarification of our go to bed after that mission, but I don't want to. News, do I should go to bed, the goods but I don't want to. The terminus systems are great for business. No I don't know. Shiala. No, haven't had any luck for it. She insists it was legal. Shepard, I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. I remember Theron you. Theron had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I'd prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans, but the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. <laughs> why are you green? I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Baria Frontiers representative knows about the issue. The Baria representative. Is that over here? Ooh. Hades Nexus. I think these are all new things. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Oh, damn. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. All of you. Humans. Solari. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial. Wow, muck. and she's racist too. God damn. You really think this is legal? Maybe Ilium's contract analyst should look it over. You ignorant yokel. I was negotiating contracts when your ancestors were still burning witches and enslaving each other. Damn. I contract dispute in 70 years. Try me. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmage, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the embassy, the other was a greeter for the consort. Girl, shut the fuck up. I hate this person. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not a... I didn't... Oh. Guilt trip! Guilt trip! Guilt trip! Guilt trip! Damn, she crumbled quick. I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. 
she was an asshole. Did you I wouldn't have been nice chance? to her, but you know. Yeah, I had to deal with Arinya though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pure blood. They're all like that. You did it. Mm, I just pure got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus hope again. I don't think I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. Mm. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. Yay. Nothing to declare. Let's move along. This is like the For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's I'm telling you, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. I I cannot figure scene. out It's all locked down. Who uh Nobody is ever going to see it. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for eclipse? Ooh, more stuff I can't afford, damn. Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what I needed to get. Ooh, fish. Good. I'm got some ships. Good passing firewalls. Maybe they're looking for All blue rose of Ilium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. What do you want? <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. The Krogan's reading those love poems to get your attention? And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's <laughs> really bad. I fucking love him. So why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... <laughs> Krogan's live long. Lives. I love Krogan. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me, or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think you realize that our kids would always have been a sorry. Not a sorry don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. Aww. It doesn't seem common for a sorry to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy. Really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. <laughs> I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Love him. <laughs> what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. At what terminal? I've already bought all the fish! Girl, I already bought all the fish! I already bought all the fish! Girl, help! I me bought all the fish. Oh my god. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might as well use them, right? Damn, that's a hell of a sniper rifle. If you say so. I don't know who the fuck. Uh, you can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the terminus systems. Everything's dangerous and everything's for sale. Wait to the and monitor it. But is that gate open too wide? Investment think tanks are noting concerns that new technological 
I didn't see the person that... Is it even like a journal entry? Yeah. Tech merchant. Nearby tech merchant. So it was one of the merchants. I was about to say, I thought it would like... I guess I was looking for something else. I know I said I'd go to bed like 20 minutes ago. I'm so sorry. Welcome back. Just so you know, your discount is still good. And I'll let you know about any special items that might hold your interest. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs. Nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Avaria and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. She's a ah. <laughs> You set me up. But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me. I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Damn, got her. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Damn. Oh, that was good. <laughs> I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. Is she just going to be like right there? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that was quick. Filed Hermia some papers. Is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing a sorry. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop or C-Sec. But my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. How'd you end up on Novaria anyway? Scholarship program and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. There she goes. Is there even Are you shorting prefabs? Do we wanna Why not? Um Oh, now I have her slam unlocked. Can't wait. I'm gonna do combat mastery. How do I? I guess I have to go all the way over here to return back to the ship, right? I'm surprised I haven't gotten Garrus's loyalty mission yet, but it probably will not be very long before we get it since we bug him all the fucking time let's look for somebody to just like raid and drop <laughs> um just as a courtesy all right you know what maybe it'd just be best to go to bed tonight and we'll worry about raiding next time around kind of tempted to come back and play some more mass effect tomorrow night if i have some time but it's really just gonna depend you know Oh, ability evolution. I was trying to figure out what this was every time I applied it, it wasn't working. Why is it plus 70 or plus 100? Wouldn't shock trooper just be the better option? I guess you don't do as much damage, but you have more health. There we go. I was wondering why the hell it kept like blocking me from doing that. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Oh wow, there's so much. Cause 
Steps to setting value of our Durantar. Shepherd. Kate Boatman. Meshbatia. Oh. I remember him. Oh, he opened the website. That's so sweet. Web, not website, restaurant. <laughs> Fuck you. No way, Emily Long was the good reporter. <gasps> we should go see her. Billy. That's from Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Robin Reeve, commander. It's a side quest, Shepard. Sorry for what I said on Horizon. It's from Caden Nalinko. Okay, so this is, it's like two days later. I'm sorry for what I said on Horizon. I spent two years pulling myself together after you went down with the Normandy. It took me a long time to get over my guilt for surviving and move on. I've blindly let my friends talk me into going out for drinks with a doctor on the Citadel. Nothing serious. I'm trying to let myself have a life again. Then I saw you and everything pulled hard to port. You were standing in front of me, but you were with Cerberus. I guess I didn't really know who either of us is anymore. Do you remember that night before Elos? Oof! The night meant everything to me. Maybe it meant as much to you, but a lot has changed in the past two years, and I can't put that aside. Please be careful. I've watched too many people close to me die on Eden Prime, Vermeer, and Horizon on the Normandy. I couldn't bear if I lost you again, if you're still the person I remember. I know you'll find a way to stop these collector attacks, but Cerberus is too dangerous to be trusted. Watch your back. When things have settled down a little, maybe. I don't know. Just take care. Aww. Oof. Sends you an email. <laughs> Project Firewalker. Yep. Admiral Hackett. Sent out the dog tag. Cerberus information processing. Liartu Sini is hunting for the Shadow Broker. That's DLC. Let's check some upgrades since that's what we can actually afford. Because, damn, we can't afford anything that costs real money. Urgency shielding is going to be pretty good. Ooh. Advanced mineral scanner. Wait, what was that last? Oh, that was the med bay. Okay, cool. Let's change Shepard's outfit. I think it'd be cool just to like go to sleep, chill out, not worry about raiding anybody tonight. And maybe if we do a bonus bonus play tomorrow. Look, here's all the model ships. We have a Reaper. It looks like we're missing one model ship. I'm not sure where we're going to get it from, but yeah, that'll be cool. And then there's my space hamster. He says, squeak. There's my fish. Clean out any dead fish. Feed the fish. Looks like I bought a bunch of fish and then let them die. Oops. I hate this dress, it's so ugly. At least I can wear this during the DLC, because that'll be nicer. Back in the hoodie. Let's head back to the main battery, and then we're gonna go... Save it. I'm just gonna save the game. That's gonna be it. It's been a... It's been a chill night. Oh, fuck. I forgot about that. Okay, I'm gonna do that, and then it's gonna be a chill night. God. Shepard. Important news. No, you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing. Analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? You stopped the Krogan adaptation to the genophage. Part of a team. Scientists, all different types. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, 
last seen on Tuchanka might torture him, make an example. Aww. Recovering Maitland would be a personal favor to me. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my... We can go to Tachanka? Oh, Set. we're gonna have a fun time. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Oh, <laughs> Erdnot territory. That's Rex's last name. Oh boy. Ooh, he's in Erdnot territory. All right, Kelly. Anything else to tell me? I think you want to talk. Yeah. Hell yeah, I want to talk to Garrus. Hell yeah, I want to talk. Hell yeah, I want to talk. Hell yeah, I want to talk to Garrus. That's how we finish off a night, guys. We talk to Garrus. The commander has put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. They're a small army. We might just pull this mission off. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on it. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sedonis was seen with him. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, Garrus. Any chance we could get to the Citadel, Shepard? I'd like to follow that lead on Sedonis. Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Oh, sweet. Oh, these are like. Ooh, wait. Phoenix cannon. Huh. He's been calibrating. We got the weapon upgrade. I don't know why the Normandy would need weapons, but holy hell. Bet we do. And I'm going to save it in the combat center, and then we'll just go to bed. Sorry to keep yanking you guys around Grunt back and forth. Really you may want to check in on oh, I'm going to go talk to Grunt, too. We'll, we'll do that next time. We'll save talking to Grunt for next time. All right, guys. Nidos, Tidos, Bidos, and, you know... Hope you guys have a good night and actually get some sleep. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Um, so yeah, sleep well guys, and I'll see you next time I come online. Nah.